Oh, shit, I should have checked. Is this okay? Is what okay? Oh, like, yeah, no, uh, we look good. We look good. Yeah, we look good. Yeah. I need to put a sticker on your mic arm. Yeah, so that uh, we're both represented. Yeah. I need to get some of those. Uh, I have a big bucket of uh, lens wipes good. next to my computer. Uh-huh. Because my glasses always get uh, dirty. Yeah. And like, then what? And then I got to clean them, but you try to clean with the shirt, and it's still it's like streaks. What do you mean you need a big, like for here? Yeah. Oh, for your glasses? Yeah. Mm. Fascinating. You should uh, also, do you ever clean the lens on the camera? I guess you don't really touch them, though. No, I you don't. You might get a little dust on You might get a little dust on them. I'm afraid I'll mess it up. You just take a little lens wipe, and you wipe it down. A little wet lens, but you're not touching the lens. It probably doesn't matter. Mm -mm. Also, this show has the quality of a potato, so who gives a shit? Quality of a potato? What I'm do you mean by that? No, the cameras actually do look good. All right, how's the audio? It's good. Louder? Josh? He's saying louder. Wait, turn up Vito a bit, I think. Turn up Vito a bit. Where does it say that? I got to see if it's a jackass Right there, I'm it. in dread coal. But nobody else is saying that, so I think he's turn fucking around. Vito I think he's I fucking around, because we look the same on the thing. Vito is quieter, he says. Okay, yeah, bump me slightly. Yeah, but the problem is, because you get... Sometimes like, I oh. yell. You come in, and you're like... <laughs> and then during the show, you're like... <laughs> Dick, I saw a bunch of black guys stealing stuff, and it was cool. That's cool. Yeah. How's okay, that? Okay, how's, how's that? that is that better? Audio's the audio fine. is fine. Just mute You said Vito. boys, though. I don't know. <laughs> I don't know if you're joking around or jerking around. What's the best shoplifting, Holland? Man, I miss when the BLM riots were going on. Yeah. yeah you should have went to the one in Long Beach, though, because that was just like Christmas for these people. I you, just, you shoplifter. I Christmas did not. For you. Yeah, but I can't shoplift because I was streaming. Because otherwise, I was watching kids running into sneaker stores, running into GameStop. I went into a GameStop with all the windows broken and all these kids are running around grabbing shit. Oh. I'm like, oh man, you that couldn't looks point fun. the camera the other way. Like, oh, I'm gonna, uh, I gotta get, I gotta get a hold of all this merch so nobody yeah, steals I gotta it. Keep Here, it it's safe. me, Vito. Everybody <laughs> knows me. I'm gonna go keep it safe at home. Those kids had worked really quick. There was like nothing left. So <laughs> that one end was like the shelves were bare. Oh, they man. ripped open that those drawers, fun. grabbing handfuls of, you know, the CDs loose. Mm. Uh, Vito's face looks fatter, the chat says. God damn it. Yeah. I don't know if that... Well, I did have Thanksgiving at Josh Denny's house. Do you feel fatter? I think I feel about the same amount of fat. Oh. I'm hoping that ham... those, But that ham calories, those don't count, because those just melt away after a couple days. Of exercise. Yeah, no, yeah. it's just normal. Normal. Oh. Ham can't remain in the human body for more than 48 hours. That's it's like scientific. corn. It's you like can't corn. digest Yeah, exactly. You can't. Jeez, we need weight loss tips brought to you by <laughs> Vito's Vito, weight loss Waldi. tips. Block lofty you know pixels, everybody. You must block lofty pixels. Get the word out. Do not engage. Block him immediately. I uh, bought some magic cards, and I was opening packs. Okay. And I took a picture. I should have tweeted it out. I was going to. What was it? A, it's a card called Lofty Denial. <laughs> <laughs> lofty? Lofty Denial. Oh, I, like a Lofty, like lofty Denial. Yes. Yeah. It's a counterspell. <laughs> I was supposed I was going to tweet it out and be like, "Man, even Magic is getting in on this block Lofty." Everybody's blocking Lofty. <laughs> <laughs> For the holidays. And it's what all the kids are about. We're making a Grinch over here. The we got a block love Lofty Legos. all the way up to and they love Block and Lofty. Slur Mountain, where he belongs. That's All right. Goes. Should we do the show? Yeah, let's do it. I don't even know what kind of, usually, you know, Thanksgiving time. It's Everybody's what just gone anyway. I don't even know. Biggest okay. problem in the universe. Welcome to the biggest problem in the universe. The only show that ranks every problem in the universe from premature celebration the Twitter lies and disinformation. Ooh. We're going to have a talk of, with our guests about their social media problems. Well, That's got to be yeah. Carl. <laughs> I'm your host, Dick Masterson. It was, uh, that was, uh, uh, joining me as always is Vito Giswaldi. That was from LP Dirty T. Excellent rhyme. I think LP Dirty T is the guy we owe a t-shirt to from like three episodes ago. Yeah. I fucked Which that we now up. have. Which we now have. The new Biggest Problem in the Universe t-shirts. Now, I don't have one. I know you don't Why have one. Why is that? Well, because I tried to call you to find out what shirt size you were, and you never pick up the phone when I call you because you think I don't it's going to be pick some annoying phone. bullshit about <laughs> me worried about us getting sued or something. So I was like, well, I'm just going to place an order because 
you know, I only whatever. I was just like, I want to play. We only get how they three come free out. orders or something. And once a month, this okay. site we get to order three pieces of co- merchandise at oh, cost. Boy. Yeah, I can just buy you one. It's like twenty. Oh no, bucks no, no! Or come whatever. on, don't go out of your way. Anyway, the biggest problem: shirts are up at killdozer.industries oh. or shop. Did we? I haven't made a link on the main website. I should do that. At what shop? Go biggest to biggestproblem.show show and slash shop, and then we can make a link to it. Oh, okay, I see. Uh, sure. But right now it's on my personal merch store. And it's a good shirt. It looks pretty good. It, feels it looks good okay. To me. I think I got some Thanksgiving stains on it already, but let's not talk you about that. You were wearing that yesterday? No, I don't know when I'm wearing this. But it's a great like shirt. you messed up just there and you confessed to wearing it a disgusting. yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> no, I wore it. I put it on to check the fit, and then I ate a cheeseburger. You know, the and stains I took it off. all over it. Yeah, I know. Why would you get a white shirt? <laughs> Why not just get a black one? Uh, this is, okay, here's my. Uh, this is another problem, but I, I can't get black shirts because my cats shed constantly, and I'm constantly rent, lint rolling any black shirts. <sighs> okay. And I can't get white shirts because I'm a fat kid and I spill food all over them. Uh, your friend having stains on his shirt is worse than you having stains on your own <laughs> shirt, I have to say. I will, uh, I'm going to make a yellow shirt, which is a nice middle ground. <laughs> and then it kind of, no matter what, it'll look like shit. Also, I don't know if these are up yet, but the biggest problem, hats. How, come, how are they not up? Well, because they have to digitize the file, and I don't know if that automatically... How do you have one? Because I ordered the first one, which is when the designer supposedly digitizes the file, but then it should okay. it should be a because sometimes they kick it back to you and they go, that I got to take the file to the print. Yeah, I've sent well, I've sent it to them before and they've been like, oh, we can't digitize that. The letters are too close together or something like that. But this one they clearly were able to. Yeah, it looks cool. My question is, does it make more? So I sent it in as the regular rectangular logo, but am I supposed uh-huh. to make like a trapezoid so it like looks more straight when it's curved <laughs> around, what? or am I being retarded? I thought Have like, you ever seen a fucking hat that's <laughs> shaped like an like a parallelogram or no, like a trapezoid, like you, a pyramid? If you look at it head on, clearly it's yeah. like going inward. But if I made a logo that's like because of perspective, tra- you yeah, mean? yeah, like could, the top of your head, I could is force the back? perspective out. And How then, the fuck would that look? I don't, I don't know. So that's stupid. what I'm saying. But what if it doesn't look stupid? Maybe it would look better. Maybe it would. You're look- saying like like it would look like this? <laughs> yeah, exactly. <laughs> And then, but then when you wrap it around a curved hat like this, yes, exactly. <laughs> Let me see. I just, I was like, well, it, you know, because then it would look straight. Look, look at it straight on. Yeah, that wouldn't look it's stupid going at all. In. What I, no, what it I would, have on, it would self-correct. <laughs> no, it wouldn't. I would just do That's it slightly. Not how it, works. it would be a slight perspective change. <laughs> you should make one of those. I should. I'm gonna make the trapezoid logo. <laughs> I have to pay the $30 digitization fee again if I do that. All right, well, I won't do it then either way. (laughs) Please don't. Check out my cool Biggest Problem swagger, which you can also have by going to killdozer.industries. I can't have these fucking earplugs in, man. I don't know how. Is it just killing you? It's just like like talking, moving my jaw is just making them drill into my fucking, like, ear holes. (sighs) Is there like a, maybe there's a pair of headphones specifically designed for (sighs) tinnitus havers. Maybe Dick D's, still has tinnitus, and I don't know why I'm more concerned about it than he is. Because I don't care about anything. After that Adam Twenty Two party, I don't care about life anymore. <laughs> I was listening. I see where I was I listening to your show life. to see how you characterize the Adam Twenty Two party. Total depression. It's not like you characterize it with Vito was having fun because there's free food, and I was looking around at all. These... I was having fun, but yeah. that was the last fun I'll ever have in my life. Because <laughs> you're not. Because your fortieth birthday isn't a. Debauchery, fucking festival of porn stars and liquor. That's and his every day. Yeah, I know. He's living the life you want. Not necessarily. Well, he's living some of the life. He's living you a want. better life than he's me. Living a better Let's put life. Put it that way. He had Corey Feldman at the party, which you were too scared to go get a picture with. I wasn't too scared. He was on the way out. I'm not going to grab a guy on the way out the door. Good thing I did. Yeah, well, you Corey, bullied me hey, into it. Get over here. Let's get a picture <laughs> with you. You look like a vampire. Did you notice Corey Feldman's bodyguards are just as weird looking as Corey Feldman? <laughs> I did notice that. That's so fucking weird. Because <laughs> when, when we were him. going into the party, I saw that weird <laughs> big guy with the ponytail, and I said, yeah. who the fuck is that guy? And it turned out it was Corey Feldman's bodyguard. When I stopped him and they looked over, I'm like, are you guys like bodyguards or are you zombies? What yeah, is that dude. look you're giving me? I guess when you're a fucking wacko, you just have to get wacko bodyguards, which is cool. Mm. I'm all about look. Well, I, I didn't envy what his Corey life. Feldman's doing Corey Feldman. While he was uh, famously molested by what's the guy from Two and a Half Men? 
he was not molested by Charlie Sheen. Get the fuck out of here. That's what he says. Although what? he says it in like, he says it in like, I don't know if it was him or the other Corey. He might say was Corey. Was it John Cryer that molested him? No, it wasn't John Or Cryer. Agnes <laughs> McDonald, the little boy. <laughs> he always like beats around it where he goes like, oh, he was a Hollywood star on blah, blah, blah. But if you add up all the clues, you're like, okay, you're just talking about Charlie Sheen. Why the fuck would Charlie Sheen molest Well, that's him. what everybody says. They're like, well, wasn't Charlie Sheen having sex with like every woman in Hollywood? Why wouldn't he want to fuck Corey Feldman? Why wouldn't he want to fuck a little... <laughs> Boy, a little car you let alone him. you. Yeah. Well, that's uh, that's what he talks about. Man, this is the fucking, what do you call it, situation all over again. That guy what? from the Who, Pete Townsend. Oh. Why do I know about all the Hollywood sex crimes? Uh, why do you know about fucking... all the Hollywood <laughs> sex crimes? Because the Corey Feldman shit is interesting. Because he was, he's, he, oh, he's always like, oh, I'm going to release this huge documentary exposing all this shit. And then he says the Illuminati shut it down just when his Patreon had hit 66 and $600. And he's like, see, wow, really? once it hit the mark of the beast on Patreon, the Illuminati stepped in to shut down my child sex documentary. That's what happened in my uh, career. Yeah. That's, I was going to be just like Adam the 22 Illuminati and the Illuminati got involved. Yeah. Well, you, uh, how did, did you eat all that food that you smuggled out? Except for the fries. <laughs> fries aren't don't keep in the fridge, but <laughs> I mean, it's a long way to go. Okay, so we go to the party. I mean, yeah. I've been telling this story the whole time. The food trucks. You got let you got let on the list after the show last week. Yes. In a shocking breach of etiquette and statistics, <laughs> you got a special text message from Adam them loves me. reversing the decision before that your invitation was no longer pending. Adam twenty two, world famous pornographer. Yeah. Got a Twitter DM from me and said Wait a minute, my fat buddy isn't on the list. <laughs> Something has gone horribly wrong. And then he came up to us. And they came right up when we to got us. in. And he said, ah, you Dick and Vito, best. you guys are the best. Please don't say the N-word. And then that's all we could and say. And then that's all the we wanted to say party. for the rest of the night. God, a lot really, of other guys were saying he it. He incepted us. Yeah. <laughs> I was and like, we couldn't even say why we were freaking out because we were like, "What's wrong with you guys? Why do you like? Why do you know, look just, like this?" Oh, it's not because anybody said we couldn't say anything. It's not because of that. I think Adam Twenty Two mistook us for like Nick Fuentes. He's like, "Please don't say the N word." I'm like, "I don't think you had to worry about that, but now you do because you put the idea in my head." No one believes what you're saying right now. Yeah. They know exactly. They know why what I he's... say at these parties. <laughs> when I see a bunch of black guys walking around. I go, wow, there are a lot of gentlemen here. You're making it worse. I know, I am making it worse. Then you got in his highlight reel. I was in the Adam 22 highlight reel. You know why? Because I was having fun at the parties. You were like, oh, <sighs> I wish I had a porn star birthday. Yeah. I wish I was up on that stage with Blueface. I wish face. I had Blueface. I wish Blueface was party. Like half heartedly <laughs> rapping at my shit. At my thing. It's called Mumblecore. You don't even know. How come Corey Feldman didn't perform? Uh, Perfect Probably opportunity. drugs. Yeah, he's probably. He was enjoying that. I did no get a picture with him. him. I should have brought the picture in. You, don't ha you took the picture. You don't have all your pictures that you've ever taken in your life on your... What do you mean? <laughs> yeah, but I, I mean, I should have sent it to you to bring it up. It's Corey Feldman holding an ice cream bar. Didn't I take it? You did take it. Oh, okay, so I have it. Holding a half-eaten ice cream bar and going, why do I got to take a picture with this fat <laughs> piece of shit? <laughs> it was great. I think Corey Feldman was feeling the same way you are, honestly. That I wish this I think was Corey Feldman was going, why is my party not like this? <laughs> oh, man, he looks great. What are you talking <laughs> Does about? He? Let me try to, try to hold let me it try up. Try to shoot it. Uh, Point is, no, I, I gotta, go in, they got a yeah. Chinese food truck. I get the shrimp fried rice. Excellent. <laughs> then they got a chicken sandwich truck. Probably the best chicken sandwich I've ever had. Then they got the way you behaved a guy around all those. Frying up churros. What do you mean, behaved? Yeah. I behaved excellently. Yeah. Got a, got some churros, a little caramel sauce on them. Uh -huh. Then Dick calls the Uber, and he says, we've got 15 minutes before the Uber gets here. I go, oh, fantastic. Go back to the Chinese food truck. <laughs> I said, you can't take Get a little more fried rice. You can't take a bunch of fucking food in the Uber with, with me. I hid, my, it, I hid it into my, my goodie rating. bag. And then you yeah. didn't even go get a goodie bag. What was in that? All, all smoking stuff. What kind of smoking stuff? Like a rolling tray, a roach clip, a bunch of uh, fucking- what do you call it? Wraps, like flavored wraps. Yeah. There was an electronic vape, strawberry, banana, flavored whatever the fuck. Uh, and a big, a big no I'm getting this jumper this, ashtray. Uh, I'm getting this this file right now as we speak. Yeah. Honestly, I should go on eBay. Be like, no jumper, goodie bag. <laughs> if anybody wants a bunch of no jumper yeah. branded, I mean, what am I, I going to do with that? A, what am I going to do with a giant no jumper ashtray? Well, I don't know like, why don't you took smoke. it in the first place. That's why it's I wasn't getting. It's a free goodie bag. It's free shit. <laughs> 
stick. My favorite thing. You need to thing. take everything that's yes. free. Yes, I absolutely do. Why do you think I'm so excited about going to the parties? Because free stuff is the best. Free food, free drinks, free shit I don't need. <laughs> Anything free is great. All right, here, I'm opening it now. All right, good. Well, I'm trying to, but... That's why I love free food, because so it combines the two right best now. things, which is free shit and food. Yeah. Uh, the only other good thing is sex. So if I could have got a girl to suck my dick while eating a free chicken sandwich, that would be the penultimate <laughs> I think you experience or the ultimate experience. Definitely ultimate. I should have just asked a girl, be like, can you just like rub my dick through my pants while I eat God this chicken sandwich? Goddamn H-E-I-C! I don't... <sighs> it's trying to drop box it? Yes, I got it working, but it's in that format that... Oh, it's in, like, stupid not PNG Apple. format. Don't you have a Google Photos uh, thing that automatically backs up all your photos? Because that's what I do. All right. Uh, I'll, I'll find it at we'll the end. We'll find it later. Point is, me what and Corey we Feldman, uh, we're going to get Corey on the show. Although, I think he just did a big podcast. I think he was on the... the Bigger than on. Yeah, probably. Uh, okay. going to tell me who won? Yeah. Now I can hear it the correct volumes, at least. Uh, employees not opening a second checkout line. I was so surprised at how much the comments were on my side on that one. Everyone hates that. I know, but I didn't realize it was such a common experience. Like every time. Yeah. Yeah. I saw a guy be like, I haven't even watched the episode yet, and I already know Vito won. And I'm like, wow, all right. <laughs> I picked a good problem. Blowing your wad early. Yeah. And then uh, social media disinformation. Okay. Well, I feel bad. You feel bad. Here's what always happens with our guests is they okay. come in and they're all primed. Yeah. And then after the show, they always go, oh, man, I really regret my problem. <laughs> <laughs> and I go, well. You set them up for failure, though. Uh, how? You do that. The this, this show document, I'll tell them next time. Just pick a funny one. You'll be happier. But no one reads. See, you send people this fucking document. No one reads a document. I read a document. It's got to be like address and like two sentences. Bring in a problem. Make it a go big. Go Make big. it something you're really passionate about. Well, the problem is every, the things that people are passionate about is how much they hate social media. Don't ma And put in there, don't make it about social don't media. Don't make it about social media. Don't make it about YouTube Don't make or social it about media. trans stuff. And don't make it about, I don't know, Democrats food. or whatever. Food. No, do make it you about food. You can make food. it about Democrats. That's All okay. food problems are great. Okay. Uh, I'm loading it right now. 805 says, um, the last time Vito was on Kick or Keep, he was excellent. And he continued to be excellent until the last round this time when he began whining that he couldn't beat an old woman and rage quit the show. Sad showing. I didn't what rage quit. What happened there, buddy? Did you watch it? No. Okay. So I go into... So last kicker keep, I won, right? Yeah. Because I am fully primed to destroy this Zoomer generation of morons who aren't funny and aren't interesting. Right. And I go into this one and I go, this is going to be easy. Clean sweep. Yeah. You has got to be funny. You got to dunk all these people. 500 in your pocket. 500, yeah. 500 easy bucks. Yeah. And they go, and here's our contestant. Her name is Nacho Mama. She's a 55-year-old grandmother uh, with a with a tough-talking Southern <laughs> attitude. Okay. And I go, this is the fucking final boss of life. I have no defenses against this woman. She swept every round. Because all these girls would be like, well, I think what I think. And she's like, well, you girls are fucking whores. And the thing about <laughs> you OnlyFans yeah. whores is blah, blah, blah. I'm like... There's no touching this woman. What okay. on earth can I? I can't call her names because she's an old lady. So you weren't just giving up because that's what they said. You were just giving up. Bro, I tried. Okay, here's the deal. I tried two different plans of attack. All right? okay. I tried attacking her in her only round because I look at the chat, man. I'm metagaming this. Yeah, right. And I'm like, I got to really win the like chat it. over. There, look. There's you and Corey Feldman. There I am. Look at him and his. <laughs> he looks so good. <laughs> I will say I was not the fattest guy at the party, so that was good. What? You saw there was that other fat guy. There's a couple fat guys. Maybe one. There's at least one or two. Okay. You were the fattest guy at one floor of the party. At one, at one time, I might have been the fattest guy on one of the floors. <laughs> yeah. But that's why I made it in the highlight reel. So an old woman beat you on this old Destiny woman. Show? Look, first I tried to tag her, and I realized the chat just loves this woman. I'm like, okay, I got to get on her side. It's the only way to make it to the finals. <sighs> So I slowly wormed my way back. But then it was me and her in the finals. And you just quit? No, I tried going on the offensive. 
but I was looking at the chat, and the chat was just Vito L, Vito L over and over, and I went, and I was just like, I was out of juice. You gotta say, use colored in a sentence for old people. You gotta, that's how I you- I tried to get her to say something racist, and she <laughs> wouldn't do it. And another girl, that lav girl, even tried to do the same thing. She's like, do you even have any black friends? And she's like, I have a gay black friend. I'm like, we're done. She's got it all mm. locked up. And here's the other problem. The final, because you know it's like a debate show with like topics. Yeah. And they're like, what do you think about like- uh, A 60-year-old fat woman, they said, from the South. Yeah. You got beat by. They said, what, is, what do you think about streamers? You know, the current world of uh, streaming. Yeah. She had a whole fucking thing prepared. Like, she had all these thoughts about, like, how these streamers are leading kids wrong and whatever and this. And she's got a... What an annoying bitch. Yeah, I know. That's what I should have... That's what I should have That's what you should have started hammered her. I, yeah. It didn't come to mind. I literally... I drew a blank. I'm like, I don't care about streamers at all. I hate all this shit. I'm only here to make fun of streamers. Which I should have followed up on that line, but I was just, man, I was yeah. out of gas. Why was she there? Just they pick. She is a kick streamer, I guess. Mm. Uh, so it's anybody. Uh, they like getting. They're promoting the kick service. Subscribe to me at kickcom slash comedy. Oh fuck off! Another thing. I don't know, man. Oh, Whatever. Oh god. That's All right. I gotta get more people over there so I can win five hundred bucks the next time. <sighs> Bread man. Uh, Vito being too scared to, to talk to the uh, to ask for the GameStop girl's number I wasn't is the funniest scared. thing on the show in a it. while. <laughs> you're so you're so busy. Uh, <laughs> Defending yourself that you can't even let his whole comment out. I didn't think about it until I left the store, okay? And at that point, I had already left the store. And then I went, ah, I should have asked for a number. That's not uh, fear, that's regret. Finnegan says, I, I agree with Vito on this one. It's human nature to want your children to be as strong, uh, healthy, and capable as possible. I think that was about the invincible, uh, that weird thing that you That tweeted. invincible tweet that eventually hit 20 million impressions. It's as many as Mint got. And then her. today I checked my X monetization. It says, you have received $20. And I went, that better not be factoring for this month. That better. <laughs> yeah, nobody wants to advertise with that weird <laughs> Did they not put any ads on? They must. Come on. <laughs> no, the ADL messed it up for everybody. I think it's calculated for the prior month. Because I'm expecting a big payday from that invincible tweet. And if I don't get it, I'm going to... I'm going to scream. <laughs> that was my winner for the year. <laughs> what a what a weird tweet. I think that's tweet. my second biggest tweet of all time. Well, that's what you third. had to offer. Yeah. That tweet. Uh, McHell, MC Hell shit said, I got so addicted to enemas, quote, I had to retrain my butthole to poop right. Female pickup lines that would absolutely work on me. Yeah, can we get Daft Noodle's girlfriend to come in by herself? Because <laughs> I wonderful. feel like we need to follow up on that. <laughs> <laughs> uh, prod... Prod Mule FC says, Vito's point about getting pregnant with a superhero godchild might be more probable for anyone who isn't a Viltramite. Oh, he's got a whole bunch of stuff about the comic. Okay. Um, Apparently, a big part of the comic is trying to make Viltramite babies, so I've read into the future. Je9-7-something says, it's so telling that Vito's whole perception of having children during that insane godchild thing basically rests on what the baby can do for him. His baby is an investment, not a child. What do you think about that? Why else would you make a kid if you're not going to get anything out of it? I agree with the you. The whole point of making a kid was you needed somebody else to help work the farm in harvest time, okay? It was, ooh, I'm going to yeah. raise it and love it and shit. Even now, all the yeah. trad guys are like, you got to have a kid because that's how you're fulfilled. I'm like, well, what about the What is the kid, <laughs> kid going to do? Yeah. I see the tweet. Like, I see you guys <laughs> telling each other what you get out of it. Yeah. But you're all pieces of shit. Right. Uh, and that kid's not going to want to take care of Remember that you. whole graph you guys love so much that it's like weak men and good yeah. times and good times, <laughs> happy days, right? right, right. You're the bad Good times lead to men. happy days, and it's just <laughs> fucking, what's his name? Uh, the Fonz. It's the Fonz. You're going, the hey. fucking, yeah, you're, the, you're Archie Cunningham's brother that yeah. walked up the stairs and never got seen. You're the bad dads, okay, <laughs> that make the weak men that cause the good times. Moving on up. Good times uh, lead to family matters. <laughs> family matters lead to a full house. A full that house. The chart? <laughs> That's the chart. Good times <laughs> leads to family matters. What, what is the show? Family <laughs> matters leads to full house. <laughs> full, full house. Full house leads to. <laughs> Roseanne, that doesn't work at all. What's Growing it? pains. Growing, Growing pains, pains is bad. Yeah, that yeah, works. Exactly. That works. That works. Uh, G J Christu says, best part of Friday. Bannerman says, Vito is so right about the pregnant Amber thing. Thank you. Idiot. Um, I was on every Reddit board. I was on just neck. But his kid, things. his kid fucked up his dad though. Omni Man, uh, Mark. 
fucked up Omni Man's whole plan. What do you, don't you get about that? Wait, wait but <laughs> that's a whole different situation. Omni Man was yeah. gonna give us all this new technology and shit, and Mark fucked his son, fucked it all up. Look, if you want to make the argument that having a Viltrumite child may make you an enemy of the Viltrumites. That's a fair that's argument. That's a bad, yeah. But to say that Amber needs to finish her gender studies degree, that's a that, that's a bad argument <sighs> against the godchild. What the fart says. Literal godchild. What it says rip invite. Okay. Well, there you go. Well, I did get my invite. You got it. And I know time. Riley's very upset because apparently he was writing an entire song about how I wasn't invited to the party. But I was, and Adam22 is my best friend. And I said, I had a great time at your party, and I got a picture of Corey Feldman, and he put a little heart reaction, so I know that we're buddies. I told him I had a good time, too. I didn't tell him any of that other stuff about uh, <laughs> depression and nihilism and stuff, though. So. Well, it's that probably, probably would have brought him down. I don't say that stuff. Well, I think that we plan? learned, uh, yeah, I have a bit. Is a very special segment I like to call, uh, Vote It Up. Vote It Up on Ricky you doing the Christmas one now? It's Christmas time. It is not Christmas time. When does Christmas time what start? What the fuck was that singing? What was that? That was a voted up jingle. <laughs> that is so horrifying to listen to. Why is it so high pitched and fuck? What do you mean? Was that like AI singing it? Uh, I don't think so. Okay. What did it sound like AI? Sounds. <laughs> it sounds Somebody sent it in. <laughs> Maybe it's one of those cigarette guys that's got the voice box. <laughs> well, that's fucking horrifying. When does Christmas time start? It's now. Right, the day after Thanksgiving? Yeah, of course. During Thanksgiving, actually. Mm, that's stupid. Well, guys, it's voted up. The segment where we revisit past problems and put them in a new light. Guys. Guys, see if you can come up with a, be a worse stinger than that. <laughs> no, dude, make the stingers good. Stop fucking around. And stop making them long, too. You guys go, whatever, do it. Worse and longer. Yeah, make them five minutes and long. And it got to it along. Whoa. Load it up. <laughs> <laughs> Biggest problem. Yeah, okay, go ahead. There's a show that I know. Stairway to heaven. Uh, let's see. Guys. That's just my joke, but a different song. Well, I'm, you know, yes and in your it's joke. It's not yes and, it's mine. You're doing <laughs> yes, mine. You didn't provide lyrics to your You didn't God up the stakes well, at all. Okay. You just changed the song. <laughs> Building upon it. It's not building upon it. It's just it, it, changing it. It's changing it. That's what you don't get. It's just changing it. It's giving another example of what that's not it could be. That's not yes and. Yes and is yes, and then you're right. It's adding yes a new plus, dimension onto which is it. Better. It's like addition. Guys, from episode ninety six, a very popular topic, which has gotten this show in a bunch of trouble for some fucking reason. The question of charity fraud. <laughs> <laughs> Well, uh, following up on uh, popular influencers who may have misled their audience with uh, uh -oh. certain charity-type debacles, uh -oh. popular YouTuber Harad Khalil, also known as The Completionist, has been accused of holding back more than $600,000 in dementia research Ooh. funds for his charity, The Open Hand Foundation. He thought they'd forget about it. Did you see this story? Did you hear Kinda. people talking about this? He just didn't pay them in time? Well, what when happened was the, is when was the uh, he would run yearly fundraisers. This has been going on for 10 years. He would run these yearly gaming fundraisers, okay. claiming to be raising funds to end dementia, and then all that money is just sitting in a bank account. For, all of it? Yeah, all of it. He hasn't donated a single dollar. <laughs> Uh, which is weird and bad. Ten years of it? Ten years of it. So it's like, and it's not even like accumulating interest. So it's actually losing money the more it sits in there. Whew. And the question is, wow. were you going to donate that at some point? Or is it just going to sit there until like 20 years go by and you everybody forgets about it? It was actually uh, Mudahar, who I think you've met, some ordinary gamers. Mm -hmm. And uh, Carl Jopes, you may have seen his uh, various documentaries. How'd they crack this case? I don't know who first started digging into it. Somehow, the, what did they do though? These two guys. Well, they they brought up the IRS records. You know, all of this. It's a public charity, so you can see what's going on. That's you can certainly see where the that's money a crime is. to go look at public records of charity. Yeah, donation. it's it's a very. <laughs> if they sent an email of any sort asking, did you where the, the funds were? Did you, who sent the did email? You did this? Who sent did the you email? Do this? <laughs> Sending emails. I to saw that Star Wars girl. I think said that Eric showed her proof of that you sent the email or something. 
Really? I saw a clip of it. I don't know. I got to double check. What? Per- well, I, I got to double check before I fucking flip out. <laughs> okay. Well, I didn't send any emails, so I have no idea. If he has. He doesn't I wanna, have any emails. There's no emails. I know there's no emails, but you didn't like, send it. If any, I would have sent it. If, if either of us would have sent it, it would have been me. Yeah, but also he claims to have receipts. Okay, just show me what you have, because I'm like actually genuinely mystified. As he said, he said, he, I have receipts. Receipts. That's different. Why would I send an email? Uh, point is, Gerard has admitted to misleading donors, but he's yet to explain why the money was never donated or what he plans to do about it. There's also wow. a bunch of listed associates, you know, saying, "Oh, well, we're also working with this charity and this charity." They're not working with any of those, so it's just nice. really weird and shady all around. <sighs> Fuck charity. Keep that money, That's man. You made the, the money. The money's for you. <laughs> People who give to charity are dumb. Fuck them. It's Make just that confu- cheddar. It's confusing, though. I don't know, because the money is just sitting there, so I don't know if it's just, like, gross incompetence. How do you know it's sitting there? You can see, like, how much money an organization has on hand. If it's, like, you can see what they said they have. Filings. You can't see what's well, in the that's account. That's true. Maybe the money's missing. Yeah, Maybe it just says, that oh, my gone. God, if the money's gone. <laughs> what are you guys, retarded? I mean, <laughs> my theory is that, because here's the other problem is the charity. It's, like, employs all his family, you know, like his brother and his dad what? and whatever else. Yeah. And I'm, like, somebody in that family just took the money or something. Yeah. And that That's he's odd. trying to figure out. No, I mean I get it. You start an organization, and then you just give your family members cushy jobs so they can collect a minor salary. Yeah, or whatever. fraud. It is a bit of fraud. Yeah. Whatever you put them on the board of directors. Anyway, guys, charity fraud is currently number one fifty with three hundred fifty four votes. Seems like it should be a little bit higher. So why don't we vote it up? I got one more for you. Okay. Hate hoaxes. I think mm. this was your problem all the way back in episode forty three. Talking about October seventh. No. I mean, October 6th. No, 7th. Was it? <laughs> Wait, what happened on October 6th or 7th? Uh, on October 6th, the IDF said, let's let Hamas come over the <laughs> uh, wall in paragliders and execute this uh, festival. That's not a hoax. Stop That's what it. happened on October I'm thinking, 6th. I'm thinking of January 6th. My bad. Are you? That wasn't a hate crime, though. Well, guys, it's important for you to know this important update. The Illinois Appeal Court is currently hear- hearing oral arguments by attorneys for Jesse Smollett, oh. claims his conviction should be thrown out. In 2019, he and Cook County State Attorney Kim Fox reached an agreement to drop the charges in exchange for a $10,000 bond in community service. Of course, that agreement was tossed out, and he was convicted in a separate case. Okay. His lawyers, however, are now arguing that that violates his protections against double jeopardy, where you can't be charged for the same crime twice. He's gone, there was already an agreement. And oh, like Bill Cosby. You convicted That's how he him. He got away with all that rape. Well, that wasn't right? a double jeopardy thing. That was oh. well, no, it was a double jeopardy thing where they said if you testify on this, yeah, we'll give you this deal, right? Yeah. And then, and then they tried him for the. Thing. And then they used the information they got during the deal to try him again. Yeah. That's like, well, I wouldn't have given you that if you you can't do that. Yeah. Yeah, it's, that was like that was like very obvious. I was cheated. like, what are you guys doing? You can't do that. You they can't fucked go, up his whole life though. You can't go, hey, admit, and we'll only give you a year. And it's like, okay, cool. And you go, Oh, you admitted. Oh, we're Busted. gonna get you on twenty. And it's like Now no one gets to see the Cosby show. <laughs> I know they're really Come on, man. Do you think they could bring the Cosby show back and just like AI digitally replace him with like a different like black guy? Oof. That'd He'd be have cool. to be pretty black. What if it was just Carl Winslow like had a second show? Uh oh, and they got him in there. Yeah, and you could put like Urkel in the background of a couple ups. I don't like the Urkel part. <laughs> I don't think Urkel's funny. <laughs> what you Urkel made the show, man. You wouldn't even have that Urkel show. Sucks. You know, Urkel saved that show, right? Yeah. If he, Urkel showed up, and all of a sudden America went, "I have fallen in love with the Winslows." It's emasculating for a black man. That's why they put Urkel in there. I got That's a question for you. Did yeah. he do that? That's the question. Point is, guys, the three-judge panel has gone into recess on Tuesday afternoon. If Smollett's appeal fails, he will have to finish out his 150-day jail sentence. Oh, uh, he's in jail? No. He has currently spent six days in jail. That's too many. That's too many? Yeah, 150 that guy's ain't enough. Done, that guy's done enough. Come on. He, he would have it to was serve funny, out the rest the of the sentence. It was funny, the whole sentence. MAGA country. I mean, it was Everyone funny. had a good laugh. 
Tied up a lot of uh, Chicago resources. Good. You know? Fuck Chicago and their resources. <laughs> I think if he's Cops always say that. Crime. They're tying up resources. No. Like, why don't you guys go arrest each other and fuck off <laughs> and leave everyone alone? <laughs> You know, I mean, the Chicago cops Go play are soggy so biscuit busy. With, uh, yeah. Go beat each other's wives if you want something to do. Hey, that's, that's, we respect the law enforcement here on Biggest I don't. Problem. I hate cops. <laughs> all of them. <laughs> Not all of them. Every single <laughs> fucking one. <laughs> well, that problem is currently number 144. Don't forget to vote it up. Vote it up on all Ricky family. Great. I can't even f- hear what the fuck he's saying. It doesn't make any sense. Something about democracy. Yeah. All right. Uh, oh, I won, huh? Yeah, you won. Well, that means I got to go. All right. <sighs> Dick, it's the holiday shopping season. Time for deals and steals. Black Friday today is Black Friday. Did you buy anything today for Black Friday? Yeah. What'd you buy? Uh, I, brought, I bought my girlfriend... Um, the pajamas she sent me and said this would make a great Christmas present for me. <laughs> <laughs> so you bought yourself a gift for her to give to you? No, she, she said it would make good. What the fuck? How did you understand that? I don't understand what what what, you, what happened. What you, you think she's sending me a gift for me? You bought her, her pajamas? You think I'm buying myself paj- sexy pajamas? I don't know. She sent me a link said these would make a great Christmas present okay. for me. Get them for me, as in for her. A present for her. Yeah. Yes. I understand now. <laughs> I get it. There's different ways to interpret that statement. No, there's not. Some it's... men wear pajamas. I don't know. And you didn't specify Why that they were Why would she be sending me a pajamas. link for my own pajamas to buy? I don't this know. This would be a great gift for you? Yeah, well, it could say, like, hey, do you like these pajamas? I could buy them for... Whatever. It's not that outlandish. Do you buy yourself pajamas for the winter? Like No one else is buying me pajamas, I'll tell you that. (laughs) Point is, Dick, plenty of deals, plenty of steals. Yeah. But these can lead to a very big problem, perhaps the biggest problem in the universe, which is buyer's remorse. Okay. Buyer's remorse is the sense of regret after having made a purchase. Like that, yeah. Yeah. (laughs) Typically associated with large purchases, expensive purchases, often such as vehicles or real estate, Uh or a house that sits above a giant pit of shit, which will uh, never be... How's your fucking house doing? (laughs) (laughs) You don't have any regrets? That's good. Because buyer's regret is bad. I don't give a fuck. (sighs) That's good. (sighs) I was going to say, you know what? Uh, One thing I've been... Doing during Black Friday is buying video games, of course. I love video <laughs> games. I would think that your whole, like, everything you buy has buyer's remorse. There's like, a lot, all the toys and that. Funko Pops and shit and, like, Unless video it goes up games. in price, and then I feel smart. But when it goes down in price, I feel stupid. Yeah. All right? Is I, there an ETF of, like, trash toys that you could just there invest be. in? There should be. Invest in Funko Pops. They're going on the moon. Last year, about I bought, uh, I saw that they had Tales of Symphonia, like one of my Hath- favorite Hathaway, games. Hathaway, but just a guy, yeah, with just a, a guy with Amazon a bunch of bullshit. Fulfillment house Actually, collects. they do. Hold on, they do have that. <laughs> there, of course. I don't know if they still. I think they had to shut it down though because it wasn't working. But it was, it was making like, too much money. You could have a group buy where everybody in the buy the buy owns one one thousandth. Of oh. an amazing fantasy number fifteen. No, it doesn't. It and doesn't work it if you fractionalize vault. it. It, it was fractionalized. Worth, yeah, it's not worth the same. No. Yeah. No. Right. Well, conceptually, it's not. Well, I think they had to eventually shut the ETF down and just like sell the items and parse out whatever the value was. Point is, about a year ago, I per- I saw on the site and I said, I'm not going to buy it. I don't need it. It was Tales of Symphonia remastered with a steel book case. I was like, I don't need it. It's like sixty bucks. And then, like, at the last minute, I'm like, oh, if I don't get it, though, I'm never going to get that steel book. Was it, like, a book made of, like, metal? No, it's like, yeah, it's a nice metal DVD case. It's, like, nicer than the plastic ones. Looks cool on a shelf. I bought it. Flash forward today, Black Friday, $25. <laughs> That's a loss of more than 50% of value. Ah. Oh. 
So you bought it for forty. I bought it for sixty. Sixty. And it's now twenty. And thinking, thinking that it would look, that it would, appreciate? would at least retain its value as a limited edition. Dude, you're like the fucking item. like Elvis collectors plates that they would play when we were kids. <laughs> like they would show that ad, and like an old woman like you would be like, "I gotta buy this fucking Elvis collectors plate." It's worked out for some stuff. My video game collection's worth a lot more than what I originally paid for it. Most of it. There's some stuff that I bought. But I feel like the value is just an excuse to buy more stuff. Yeah, because it'll just be worth more in the future, obviously. <laughs> okay. It's like all these fucking magic cards I keep getting, which I'm also watching plummet in value, and I have tremendous buyer's remorse. Oh, yeah, I'm didn't like, you say that Hasbro is a good stock buy? Well, yeah, no, now it is. Not not prior, because it's tip lost veto. like half its Day value. Yeah. I think it's like, I think tip. it's hit kind of a floor. Floor? No, it hasn't hit a floor, always but down. I'm limping in. I'm limping in on Hasbro. Okay. Point is, Dick, I got you a present. This oh, is the wow. uh, Pac-Man World for the Nintendo <laughs> Switch. <laughs> Look at that. Can I open it you or what? I, yeah, you can. if it's yours, do whatever you want with oh, it. Oh, man. Okay. I figured you. And if you don't like it, you can give it to the nephews or something. I figured they wouldn't like it. No, they don't, need, they don't get they any don't of my stuff. That. No. And then also, do you have a knife? Uh, here, use or the serrated edge of the, of the sure. cap. Sure. Bottle cap. It also comes with, and you probably don't want this trash. So you said it's not Christmas time, but you're doing presents. It's, it's uh, Thanksgiving, Thanksgiving presents, presents time. Okay. I don't it's know why black. I opened this. It doesn't. There's nothing <laughs> else to get out of it. When I, mm. And you bought yourself this? No, this is part of your present. You need help with that? I'm trying to not destroy the box, even though you're not going to keep the box, so what does it matter? I might keep it. You might keep it. All right. Oh, and. You just ripped it? This box. My is box. Not, now it's it not has another anymore. box inside it. Oh, what is this? This is your complimentary Chogo Ken Pac Man statue, which is a large metal Pac Man. Yeah, you're not going to keep this thing. Why do you. Why do you. <laughs> Why do you have this? Because why am I so into Pac-Man? Well, because okay, here's the deal: is that this was a hundred and twenty dollar collector's edition Pac-Man <laughs> that comes with the game and that statue, and for Black Friday it was twenty bucks. <laughs> <laughs> so Wait, I bought, today? Yeah, dude. You bought this today? No, I bought it like oh, it's been you know the Black Friday month or whatever. Okay. I'm like for twenty bucks you get the game and a giant Pac-Man statue. <laughs> I bought a couple of them to just give to people. Why the who, fuck is Pac-Man black? It's a big black metal Pac-Man. It's made of metal. It's awesome. I have one for myself. Being made of metal doesn't make something better. Dude, you can put Pac-Man inside the big <laughs> robot Pac-Man. Like he's eating himself? No, like he's piloting it like a giant mech. Okay. Whatever. If you, don't, a trick. if you don't like it, give it to your fucking nephew. I don't even know how to like or not like it. <laughs> it's some sort of a metal Pac-Man. The point is that I was going online, I was looking at people, and they're going, oh my god, they're sold out. This is from a year ago. They're like, they're sold out of Pac-Man World. I gotta get Pac-Man World. It's 120 bucks for the limited edition Pac-Man. And it's, yeah. it's now 20 bucks. And I imagine okay. those people have tremendous- Is the game fun? The game's fun, yeah, I like it. It's like a little 3D Pac-Man game. Okay, well, thank you. It's kind of like a Mario. Black Pac-Man. There you go. It's 20 bucks. Does it for light 20 up? 20 bucks? No, it doesn't line up, but- it's like cool. It fucking opens up and the eyes move and shit. Can with I open old... it? Yeah, you can absolutely open it. It's your toy. You know, you gotta get that, uh... Just don't puncture the box. Point is, Dick... Okay. ...that uh, the phenomenon of buyer's remorse has been generally associated with the psychological theory of cognitive dissonance, a state of psychological discomfort when two elements of cognition are in opposition which motivates the person to appease it by changing how they think about the situation. This is an example of post-decision dissonance, where a person is stressed by a decision that has already been made and seeks to decrease their discomfort by yeah. changing their feelings about the item. For instance, you might go, well, my house sits on a pile of shit, but hey, at least it's got a great living room to uh, you know, get over your you know, buyer's remorse there. Another example might be if you spent $35 plus $12 shipping on a really bad superhero comic book. But you now have to go, well, at least I'm supporting the culture war and the ambitions. Oh, I, they all have to say that. Well, I support what Eric's doing. I support what he's doing. You know, he, and that's what matters. He criticized media forever, and then he made some media. <laughs> so you really got to respect that. Since fucking when do you have to respect that? I don't know. Nobody respects that. I don't understand Everybody that Everybody thought 
media could be better and then made something and it sucks and everybody fucking makes fun of it. That's what it is. I I don't understand the. Oh man, it's Black Pac Man. It's Black Pac. It's Hide your Mrs. Pac Man. <laughs> Black Pac Man's coming. Comes with a bunch of black ghosts as well. What the hell? Yeah, the number of people who have gone. No, you don't understand that he made fun of comic books for a long time, and then he made some comic books, and they suck. And that's like, yeah, and they really suck. <laughs> But that's like putting your money where your mouth is. And it's like, dude, Roger Ebert made a movie, and that movie sucked. also sucked. And nobody goes, oh, dude, we got to watch Beyond the Valley of the Dolls again because, you know, I just really respect that Roger Ebert shits on movies, and then he made a movie. All politics. It doesn't matter. I got a better way to do this. It's called <laughs> communism. Vote for me. Everyone's dead. Well, you got to respect that he respect did something he about it. something different. This is a... Uh, some My parents suck. I'm going to have kids. I kicked the shit out of them. Well, you got to respect that he... Tried it. Oh, Jesus. There's like a tiny baby pack. Yeah, it's a tiny baby pack that goes in the big one. And the big one's really top heavy and falls over constantly. Mm -hmm. Unless you put it on that special base it comes with. Okay. Open it up like a Pac Man. Look at that. that. See, it's got a little cockpit for Pac Man to sit in. All right. He can also go on the base. And you can raise up his little uh, cockpit chair so you can see him better somehow. He's really in there. Oh, there it is. There you go. Look at that. Well, now he's in his mausoleum. (laughs) His pack mausoleum. It's a pretty cool little thing. Do you have one of these? Yeah, I have one of these uh, at home. I think it's pretty cool. Uh, Again, I don't have buyer's remorse for this because I play. You you play with it. Give it to me. (laughs) You got that little wheel. You don't have buyer's remorse for this. I don't, but other people would because they paid one hundred and twenty fucking dollars for it. Meanwhile, you got the smart guys buy. Well, sometimes you make a good buy. Sometimes you make a bad buy. Uh, The game for twenty bucks is with twenty bucks. You get a whole Pac Man guy. I guess this was just my excuse to bring in a cool Pac Man guy and talk about it for like a couple minutes. All right, what's the most buyer's remorse thing that you've ever had? We know mine. Hmm, what is my biggest buyer's remorse? Probably that time I bought a car on impulse and the car was all fucked and I had to get all these repairs made on the car. Okay. Pretty much every car I buy, I end up just going, well, I got to get this car because I don't have a car. And then I find out that the guy who sold me the car lied about it. Yeah. Every time. (laughs) Uh, One time I bought a car and the wheels were not on straight because it was like- How'd you miss that? Uh, Because I'm retarded. Okay. He's a retarded 20-year-old boy. They weren't on straight? Like, how crooked were they? Like, they were going like this somehow. And I was like, (laughs) I should have noticed that, right? But I was just like, I'm in L.A. I just got here. I need a car. It's a nice Honda Civic. And it turned out that- You got to L.A. and you needed a car right away? I was there for a couple months, but whatever. Okay. Anyway, I got the car, and then it turned out it had a salvage title, and the guy didn't report that it had a salvage title. Yeah. And then I won $1,000 from him in a court uh, thing, and then he went, I don't have any money to pay it. And the court went, okay. And so I never got that $1,000. Is he a Mexican guy? No, I think he's, yeah, he was like half Hispanic or something. Half what? What what other half was he? I didn't ask. Hmm. One of those shady, Well, that was very Hamas of him. Yeah. I won the thousand dollar thing, and then it's like, okay, well, you can spend the next ten years chasing me after a thousand dollars, and I'm like, okay, well, I don't really have the time for that, so yeah. fuck it. Uh, you got to put the ghosts on there too. Okay, I'll fuck. With, I'll put the ghosts on. Well, where are the show. ghosts? They're hiding in the base. Hmm. You just can't resist playing with it. Can you? <laughs> I mean, it's someone was pointing out that you were on Tony's show, bouncing your knee, yeah, and so much, and they're like, it really fucking annoyed me the whole time. How did he know I'm bouncing the knee if I'm behind the thing? Because you're like always. It's like rippling all over your body. I have restless leg syndrome. No, I you got to stop that. You got to exhibit. Zen. I'm not doing it right now. I I'm just w- that's why Pac-Man, I brought it up. Because I'm focused on Pac Man. Yeah. If I was focused on something else, I'd be jiggling. Uh, the pair. Oh no, that's a different thing. So point is, guys, whether you're out there buying, maybe again, I, I, this problem is, if you made a big purchase recently, you buy a TV. Next thing you know, next week, it's Black Friday sale, half price. Buyer's oh, remorse. So you're you t- feel giving bad. people like a shopping tip. Well, I get all ang- I get all anxious. I don't want to make any big purchases in the lead up to uh, November because I'm like, yeah. oh, I might be on sale. Yeah, I might be on sale. Like I bought a I bought a tablet earlier in the year, and I'm like, oh, I know this is going to be like half price the second Black Friday fucking rolls around. <laughs> but I needed it. What do you then. use it for? I use it for storyboarding my comics. Oh, so it is a oh, oh, 
Why are you laughing? I need this tablet to storyboard my fucking comic. I, it has been, it has been <laughs> wildly helpful. Nobody ever storyboarded a fucking comic before tablets, where, before it brand makes new it tablets. It easier, okay. What, 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 uh, what kind of tablet was it? Apple Pro, no, iPad Pro? No, no, I got a Sam, whatever the top Samsung one is. Oh, okay. I thought about getting an iPad, because that's what a bunch oh, of the artist yeah. kids use, but I hate, I hate Apple shit, and it's also like an extra 500 bucks. I think it was like 800 bucks. I've used it. I've, I storyboarded like the whole comic on it. I can sit in bed and I can do the storyboard. When's that comic coming out? Soon. Soon? Very soon. Guys, buyer's remorse, or as I call it, shit you already bought going on sale. But uh, buyer's remorse is probably more Buyer's apt. remorse, you can apply that to a lot of things. You can though. apply that to a lot of things. You know? Not just comic books and stupid toys, but... Yeah. God, so I didn't want to move to this town. Yep. Uh, I didn't want to get this job. I didn't want to lock sucks. in with this girl, and now I'm shackled to her forever. She's draining my bank account. That's the worst purchase of all, marriage. Buyer's remorse. Give it a vote at biggestproblem.show. Okay, my problem is immigration. No, Dick. All Immigration is every our strength. Kind. Every kind. Diversity is our strength. Right. What's immigration? Is it just like... So GDP? What's Why do we... <laughs> you know, I watched... Well, the thing happened in Ireland or whatever, where that, uh, you're really, that you're immigrant really, stabbed you're really a bunch of kids. summing it up. That thing that happened in Ireland or whatever. What happened exactly, Dick? Some immigrant stabbed a bunch of kids because he thought it was funny. <laughs> yeah, you really... Hamas went. immigrated over <laughs> the yeah, wall, that was killed an a bunch issue. of people. That was an immigration they problem. They just wanted to immigrate. Come on, man. Can we just, like, stop with this immigration shit? <laughs> In what way? All of it? All of it. Here's so Why everybody should sees go like anywhere? poor Im Im poor immigrants and like, well, fuck these po this mm. these poor immigrants shit. Fuck this. Yeah, I'm not paying these guys for hanging around, whatever. Right, taking our gerbs, right? Well, they're taking. But those then they gerbs. always come in and go. Some jackass always comes in and goes. You know what we want is the the real hard working people can stay. I'm like, why the fuck? Why the fuck would hard working people want other hard working yeah, people no, here no, doing hard working shit and Cutting your taking money the good in jobs. Half. Yeah. yeah. Hey, I hear I'm the last hardworking guy I you want got, more man. Taco truck guys. Give me. I don't gotta exactly. worry about those guys. Yeah. Only taco truck guys. Yeah. I got some stats if you're interested. How do I not benefit from more taco trucks? What is the negative impact? You go to a bar and like, wow, there's all these uh, hot single girls here. Mm. How would you like a bunch of other guys here? No, I wouldn't. <laughs> if they're hardworking, I definitely wouldn't want a bunch of hardworking uh, guys yeah. who are dressed as good or better than me. That would why be the horrible. fuck? Why, why are you guys all saying this? Why do you guys all say, you know, we want all the. Because they're like trying to signal that they're themselves hardworking. Right. So they're like, I really just don't like lazy people. I love. I want more hardworking guys because we can like fucking synergize and be hardworking together. Like, do you know how fucking dumb that is to even think that? I did see a guy and he was tweeting about how Americans don't understand immigration the way Europe does because all our like over, you know, whatever yeah. What do we know about bringing guys in <laughs> in America? Thanks, well, Europe. Little... Why don't you go blow your fucking brains out? Well, yeah, but we're getting Mexicans. We're not getting you know Islamist guys. I guess. <laughs> Is, is that the, is <laughs> that the worst immigration saying. that we have in I America? Don't know. Mexicans <laughs> and Canadians, they're, they're awful. No, but whenever we get guys from, like, like, if somebody from the Muslim world comes over here, like, they got to at least afford a plane ticket and stuff. So usually it's like a guy, you know. Get him out. <laughs> 10 million bucks. If you have 10 million bucks, you can immigrate here. That's it. Or if you want to be a doctor and you're a hardworking Asian or Indian. Only person. if you want to be a doctor. Mm -hmm. Otherwise, no. Even then, doctors are getting doctors are getting fucked over big time in America. Yeah. Oh yeah. Uh, I mean, there's no new. There's not. They're not getting any more money after all that Obamacare shit. When right. everyone pays so much more for health care. Right. So where's it all going? Just give it to the doctors. Well, no, we got a bunch. Hire a bunch of fat Filipinos yeah. to hang around the hospital with them. Right. You got guys like Gerard just put six hundred thousand in his own bank account. Who's not that? giving it to any doctors. That's oh yeah, exactly. <laughs> He's fucking them all. Over. Okay, here I have uh, I have actual stats. All right. Um, That's my favorite phrase on this show, by the I way. I have his stats. For I you. have actual stats. That's the best. I have phrase. actual stats. We need a stinger for that. Okay, immigrants uh, reduced the average annual earnings of native people by 4% mm -hmm. and for high school dropouts 7%. All right, that's not even that bad. 
And but then How? the H like it negatively impacts the economy because they're what so taking social taking services jobs. and shit or jobs. It's like more people. They're not bringing over. No, there's no immigrants who like bring over an entire company and go like, okay, here, here's my company. Yeah. Now, now I'll well, hire all you guys. Some people, not a lot. Who does that? Nobody. Some people want to put their companies in America because America has good tax rates and shit, right? Ireland has good tax rates. Well, America doesn't have good tax anything. They have the worst tax rates. I guess that's true. You want to do all your taxes overseas. Why do companies- Ireland specifically. Yeah. Because they don't have to pay any tax. None. I, yeah, there's Zero. a lot of Irish. Doesn't Apple- Google's based doesn't on Apple fucking Ireland. Doesn't Apple do all their Irish taxes Everybody in does. Um, that's wild. Okay. Here is the H-1B people. Here's the hardworking one. I'm going to do all my taxes in Gaza and say the money disappeared <laughs> and then fucking rubble. No, they won't let you do that. <laughs> a missile blew up all my money. I don't know where. And right. ironically, the other half was of my in the money Gazan was that bank. missile. Yeah, that exactly. Blew up my money. That'd be a good get. That'd be a good um, uh, tactic. Wait, wait, wait. I had an actual figure, but I, I think For I lost it. For how much it. money everyone's Oh, yeah, losing? here. Half a million half a million people in H-1B, right? Half a million people. In America? In America. So okay. what's an H-1B worker get? Probably like $150,000. What from when for like high tech workers for salary total right That's now there's five hundred and eighty thousand H one B workers here because they put in new uh, new ones every year. I don't think they're all making one hundred and fifty k though. IT workers H one B let's say a hundred. All right. Average. So what is that? Half a trillion dollars? Hundred thousand? Is it? Is yeah, that but right? I wasn't gonna take that job. I'm not gonna be a fucking tech guy. <laughs> How does this impact me as an idiot who makes YouTube videos? Now, if a bunch of immigrants came over and they started going, the thing about Star Wars is I do not like the Star Wars. I'd go, well, this is just fucked up. What are we doing here? Get I don't know how to impact you on anything <laughs> is the problem. <laughs> nothing Im nothing impacts you because you, do, you don't contribute anything. I know. So I'm living the perfect life. It's fucking impossible. I live in a bubble completely you insulated are the very from the real world. bottom <laughs> <laughs> the very bottom of social utility. I can't push you what you are, the tragedy of the commons. I can't propel you one way or the other with any of these arguments. I go to a porn star's party, I eat his fried rice. And you get in the highlight and reel. I get in the highlight reel. Nothing in this world. Well, that believe it or not, this affects has everybody else. Everybody else. You're like, I'm having problems with my house. I'm like, I just run some half shit a trillion in That's half a trillion like dollars yeah. that should go to our smartest people mm -hmm. right there. Boom. Eh. Why don't they just make YouTube Fuck videos and Fuck shit? Why don't they just... <laughs> <laughs> They're hosting them! Well, let's just invest in action figures <sighs> like I did. 45 million people are immigrants. Wow. Oh. Imagine how much better off we would be with, without hey. 50 million people taking jobs. Right? Wow, what kind of you, podcast You're is fired. This? We're going we're gonna to hire somebody else. You can't, actually. There's nobody else. So... Have I a think, little more money. I think diversity is our strength, Dick. The more people we bring in, the bigger the melting pot grows. <sighs> Except when it's with your, like, jack-off cartoons. Yeah. Then the, you don't want any diversity. No. Right? Just big, booby, uh, naked anime ladies. Yeah. I think I talk about this on the show, though. It is it is very hilarious to see the New York response to the immigration crisis. We're going to die. Yeah. <laughs> well, two years ago, they went, as the Statue of Liberty says, send us your teeming masses. And two years later, they're like, look at all these fucking teeming masses. This sucks. I fucking hate teeming masses. <sighs> this is horrible. Why didn't someone tell us that it was going to go like this? <laughs> Will you masses stop teeming for two fucking seconds? It's crazy. I think I just got triggered seeing all the people saying, well, we want the hardworking people. Mm -hmm. Why? <laughs> Why? That's the last people. Send the fucking lazy people. They're yeah. not going to do anything if they have to sleep on the fucking street. The hardworking people are going to go vote. <sighs> it is a problem. Um, but it will be solved through old-fashioned American ingenuity as we just integrate them into our way of we, life. We. Here's we. We. Like we pedophiles. No, not like you we pedophiles. You will do nothing. You will do absolutely nothing. If they watch my videos, they'll they'll join the culture and they'll hate the Marvels just like a red-blooded American should. We need more immigrants here to upvote my videos in, the, in an <laughs> IP address Thank that you. Google recognizes for ad revenue. Yes. Um, and to retweet my controversial invincible tweets. There you go. That's more immigration right there. That whole show is a, is a 
anti-immigration show. <laughs> I was streaming recently, and I was like having a little mental breakdown where I'm like, I don't live a real life. I'm like trying to make, I make money shitting on the internet and playing video games and just hoping to God that I'm entertaining for at least half a second so someone feels guilty enough to sign up to my Patreon. This is a terrifying fucking lifestyle. I produce nothing of value. Yeah. I'm a, I'm an idiot. Yeah. And uh, uh, that's why I don't care. Immigrants, do whatever you want, because I can't tell you how to live your life. H-1B workers paid 40% less than American That's how employees. they get you. That's how they get you. Um, and they work in, let me see, service job, service industry jobs, construction and maintenance, production, transporting, and material moving. Not not complaining about comics on YouTube, though. So I guess you don't, obviously, you don't fucking yeah, care. Yeah, what do I care? It's got nothing to do with me. <laughs> one day, one day, one of, one time I'm gonna be one day to live a man in the real world. who breaks his back yeah. working and building things will make less than you. And on that day, you will care. Mm. When that day happens, we're, we're already getting there. Manual, no, no, no. We're no, already no, getting there. No. We're already on the way. You can't, uh, you can't copy software, mm. right? You can't run your own bank. You wouldn't. You wouldn't download a card, Dick. You would. They, they make it illegal, but they, right. you can copy people. I would download a gun. <sighs> That's my problem. All right. So Dick, who lives in the real world, is all worried about immigration. <laughs> For the rest of us who are having fun in the internet land, it's fucking you over, man. Ten percent every year. Oh, you're talking my. to an audience of Zoomers. All live at home and no, just waiting to These die. These people actually work. In our audience? In our audience, yes. They have good, real that'd jobs. That's a good poll. Do you have a job? Do you, are a you a veto file? Are you a crimson who apparently uh, refuses to get a job? How are you doing, Crimson? I know nothing about that other than we get constant super chats to ridicule that guy. I find it kind of funny. Crimson will get a job. Uh, well, speaking of important problems that are facing today's working man, my yeah. problem is waiting for the next season of your favorite animated show. I don't know if you've uh, Invincible. Invincible, four Sucks. episodes. Yeah, and now we got to wait for the other half of the season, which will not come out until twenty twenty four. No, you didn't know that, did you? No, they're trying to do a South Park thing. They're doing a South Park thing, so mm. we're getting half the season, and then we got to wait till next year. They haven't even told us what month. It might be the end of next year. We're going to get the final four seasons. Their final four <sighs> episodes of this season. I wish they'd have just ended it after one season. And said, go read the comics, fuck you. Just said, like, that's it. That's it. Yeah. He made Omni-Man cry, and now it's over. Spoilers. Yeah, that's perfect. <laughs> it's done. Well, this seems to be a problem that hits a lot of animated shows. Mm -hmm. uh, and I don't... You think it'll hit AlphaCore? I think, well, I don't know what's going to happen. If AlphaCore gets an animated series... I'll you... eat my own dick. <laughs> <laughs> no, I think... I think... Glenn Beck is starting a TV network or something like his own like no, he's stupid. Not. He's starting like a stupid like Daily Wire Plus thing. Well, is it was that what he meant by I want to become Jewish? When yeah, he said I think that. so. Did you see that? Yeah. He says I wish I was Jewish because then I would be running a TV station. I'm pretty sure. I I guarantee that Eric's plan. <sighs> I fucking hate these people. Because so first much. of all, I don't think Eric actually cares about comic books. I think he read some Spider Man comic books and then realized he could make money talking about them. Yeah, and it was more profitable than talking about whatever libertarian bullshit he actually cares about. Uh, but I think he, like everyone, wants to make a cartoon. Everybody wants a cartoon, baby. Okay. And I think he could trick Glenn Beck. Glenn Beck has a lot of money just sitting Nobody around. Nobody has this much money for you a cartoon. You keep saying that, but... It's like a million dollars. million dollars an episode? Let's say, let's Half say they million? make it shitty and it's 25 grand a minute. Mm -hmm. For a whole season, how much is it? You think he's doing 20, 22 minute episodes? Just do uh, just clutch cargo it. He's not gonna do it. <laughs> just clutch cargo it. Just have the just have the Alpha Core guy. Fuck! How do we not have an Alpha Core guy with just the fucking mouth? That's what we Let need. Me get the helmet guy. Go get the helmet guy and cut okay. out his mouth. Hey, would this be funny? <laughs> what if we got uh, Dude, let's someone with Down syndrome <laughs> to wear Isom shirts, Alpha Core shirts, and Isom shirts? No, that's so bad. We can't do that. Is that funny or not? I think let that's, me put a, I think me that's put a, a little vote. over the edge to get retarded guys to wear. Why? <laughs> We're just giving them cool merch and comics. 
Let's donate I'm paying them. them. I'll take them to the zoo. Let's donate a bunch of ISM comics and they can all hold them up. Yeah, 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 yeah. I feel like come on, is, I can get that stuff at a I feel like steal. It's not cur- yeah, we can get ISM for like five bucks. Uh, let me start a poll. We just on donated that. 100 copies of ISM is to St. Funny? Mary's Home for the Intellectually Disabled and look. At how excited they are. Is that funny or too far? It's too far. Let That's me see. Too much. Funny. <laughs> <laughs> too far. St. <laughs> Mary's home for the medically infirm loves Isom. <laughs> yeah. And they're all drooling in their hospital beds. Oh, <laughs> well, I got to put Ripiverse on because it's yeah. not. Okay. Yeah, no, because otherwise you get Alpha Core or fucking medical supplements or whatever. So, what were you saying? I was saying he could clutch cargo. It's this it. guy. That it's would be the guy. way to do it. Um, oh, man, what would you do? <sighs> Concentrate on your problem. My trying- problem oh, is. I'm blocked from. Okay. Okay. <laughs> blocked by Eric. Well, the point is with these animated shows, uh, sometimes you go nuts waiting for the next season to come around. Rick and Morty has had up to a two year gap. There was a two year gap between seasons three and four. If you're yeah. a fan of Venture Brothers, as I am, it was like pulling teeth. That show's been going since like, that show has been going on since I was in high school. Yeah. And there's like two year gaps between seasons. And uh, man, sometimes, and now they aren't even letting them finish it out. We had to wait like three, four years to get the movie that just came out. South Park. You used to get 10 episodes every season. Now you're only getting six episodes a season. So even though the speed, like it's they're still doing a season a year, we've lost four episodes. Yeah. I mean, yeah, but we made that one special or whatever. Yeah, but, you know, like, yeah, but the special's only like an hour long. It doesn't take that much extra effort to do the special. Oh. I feel like we're getting gypped. Okay. We're getting it doesn't, gypped. It doesn't take that much extra effort to write a, a whole special. Like it shouldn't How take- long is the special? Like an hour? It's like a movie. That's that like Pandaverse minutes. special was not that good. No, I hated it. It like had a good premise, but ultimately all the people are going, "Oh my god, whatever." It's just like the fucking same. Fucking roasted. They fucking, they fucking roasted, roasted Disney, Disney man. Blah, blah. They fucking roasted him. Like, they noticed the, us. The only part that was like funny was having a uh, fat black female Cartman, and I was yeah, like, "Yeah, that's, that's funny. That's pretty good." And that should have just been the whole episode. Honestly, the rest of it was like. Eh. Uh, then for you anime fans out there, Attack on Titan between seasons one and two, you had a 3.5 year wait. That's crazy. Meanwhile, for fans of the anime Bleach, which never adapted the final arc of the manga, that is finally happening. It has been 10 years since Bleach finished its anime run, and only now are they going to animate that final arc. Uh, I don't know what it is about animation. Obviously, it's a laborious process. Yeah. It takes time to make these uh, shows, which is why if we get an Alpha Core show, it's probably going to take a million years. And by the time it comes out, we'll all be dead. How about Back to the Future 2? Remember that? What? How long that? It took forever to come out. Did it? I wasn't around when Back to the... When did Back to the Future 2 come out? I was. Out? We were like... Like 92? Edging right up to the theater, waiting in line to buy tickets. <laughs> come on. Come on. Come on. They were te- cock-teasing us, right? Yeah. Everybody was so excited. Fucking future, for man. The- we got to see what the future's like. But wait, was Back to the Future 1? I know it was like a big movie, but like, yeah, did people big. anticipate that it was going to be like a franchise? I guess one no. ends, but does no. one did not have that. S- did one always have that scene? It did. Where, where yeah, Doc yeah, goes, yeah, we yeah. got to go to the future. So they yeah. were they were like hinting at it. Uh, Well, they just like threw that on. But then the actress changed, right? The yeah, one who played really Marty's girlfriend. That. I didn't notice at all when I was a kid because I was an idiot. I think um, we all were kids, and uh, yeah, you can't tell the difference between white ladies with fucking. I still can't. We all kind of still seem watch the same. those movies and go. Is this is a different <laughs> actress? Are you sure? I can't see her tits in that '80s out in that '80s. They also jean famously vest. got a guy who looked like uh, who played the dad, who played George McFly, uh, George Papard. No, that's not correct. They who famously got a guy who uh, looked Kirk Cameron. Was it? No, it wasn't Kirk Cameron. I think it was. Oh, you're an idiot. What are you looking for? I'm looking for George McFly actor. Crispin Glover. It was Crispin Glover. (laughs) Did you know that and you were just fucking with me? I always do that. When people are looking stuff up, I make them go all the way through (laughs) typing it out. (laughs) And then then I try to time it so right when it loads. Right. Well, Crispin Glover famously did not want to return for Back to the Future 2. So they found a guy. I think they made him wear a Crispin Glover mask or something. Really? And then Crispin Glover sued them, saying, well, you can't just use my fucking face. And actually won yeah. that lawsuit. So that kind of set some precedent, which is fascinating. Uh, uh, all I'm saying, guys, is that I can't I can't believe we got to the end of Invincible Season 4, or uh, Episode 4, 
season two, episode four. I was all excited. I'm like, I can't wait to see where this goes. It just sucks, man. I'm tired of listening to like Mark cry about his dad. Yeah. You're such an asshole. It's like, bro. I mean, he's still dealing with it. It just happened. It's only been a year in the universe. Uh, and I, I don't like seeing proactive good dads being pilloried <laughs> on television. I don't. I didn't like it when Breaking Bad mm. was when they beat him up for no reason yeah. for just being an entrepreneur. Being a great dad. Dealing with his retarded kid. When his crippled kid yelled at him for making all wife. that money. Yeah, and I don't like and it. And killing his cop uncle, which he should thank him for, because he was a cop. That was the best part of it. <laughs> Not only a cop, but a DEA agent. The kind of cop that only pursues drug crimes. The worst, most evil person in the history of the world. A DEA agent. I'm sitting there going, what the fuck are people? This Why is the are most. people upset about this? This is like. This is more misogynist than, like, a man having his dick ripped off on television yeah. um, by Susan B. Anthony. I feel like Dick should have a TV blog because his takes on all these shows is always... Uh, I remember the BoJack Horseman take you had where you're like, no, the show's great because <laughs> the ending, he hasn't learned anything and he's still an <laughs> asshole. Yeah. Uh, I think you have a point there which somewhat. Po well, which part, though? Well, what is wrong? What, like, Omni Man is obviously 100% correct. No, and not a good dad. Why is he 100% correct? Like, they live for thousands of years. Yeah. And so everyone people is are just like horrible and tr <laughs> like trash. And they, well, I got to say, my reaction, the reaction to my Invincible tweet, I was kind of like, you know what? People, our, our nation, our, our species is pretty fucking stupid. Yeah. That I'm going, hey, what if you could have a baby who had, you know, oh, would live forever said it in a and have crazy way. powers? I didn't say it in a weird way. I said this, this. Oh, this, fuck. Wait, I forgot to do this thing. Hold I on. said this dumb lady, this stupid, idiotic, yeah. fucking whore of a woman yeah. uh, should submit to the superior Viltrumite seed, yeah. cast aside her aspirations. Yes. And be a uh, fucking spawning bed for the next generation of alien superiority. Uh, and for some reason, right, people. Just... <laughs> oh no, it did the background too. Fuck. <laughs> just pull it up Hold a on. little bit. This? No, 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 no. I need it to be correct. <laughs> All right. <laughs> and uh, for some reason, people took issue with that, even though I was completely correct. Yeah. Uh, All I know, man, is uh, South Park suck. Kind of sucks now. Yeah. And I'm I'm tired of like waiting for it, and then you you watch the six episodes, and you go, oh, those weren't that good, yeah. and then that Pandaverse comes out, and everyone pretends. I know again, it's you know what? Amped up it's more it. cognitive dissonance. It's because they've been waiting for South Park to come back so much. Yeah, and also because it says shit they like, like fuck Kathleen Kennedy. Just take the fucking whatever. Use the I'm trying to get the fucking right color. What is the right color here? That's what fine. Is it? Okay, the and green. Yeah. Yeah. How do I pick it? No, but you need to make the background something else. I'm not making the whole background of this jackass. Look oh, at this okay. green. This well, really fun. bright green. Well, the problem is How his, do I pick his it? helmet's green. But I can only pick this color. Look. Watch. No, you can you can change the color. You can change the key color. But how do I pick this color Select exactly? Color. Okay. How do I get that one? Oh, fuck. There's no fucking color picker? I fucking picker. see. I told you. Okay, well, just sit. Hold on. You have the similarity at one. So get it to something close. Then hit OK. Now turn the similarity up. Keep going. See, it all goes at once. Okay, because the background's... Okay. Oh, I'm going to fucking lose <laughs> it! it. No, it. no, do Let not, do no, it. you do not do it. Hold on. Is this You're the gonna image? You're going to fuck it up. Is yes, this the image? Yes, that's the image, yeah. How do I save it? <laughs> I never would have thought of that. I know you wouldn't because you're a fucking <laughs> idiot. All right? So now just do that. Now you know how to do it. Now you do it then. Well, I don't know where the image is because now the image isn't there. It's right here. You just have the similarity turned up too high. Okay, well, now okay. It's, okay, now make it that thing. Well, I don't know how to pick that. Okay, I got it. <laughs> <laughs> fucking there. Well, because I know it has a... Okay, hit it. Okay. Wait, 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 let me do it. Uh, wait, wait, wait. I would have never thought to do that. <sighs> Hold on. <laughs> the amount of effort we've put oh. in. <laughs> You're almost there. Oh. <laughs> that there was we pretty go. Good. Wait, which way am I supposed to be facing? <laughs> yeah, right there, right there. Did I'll you bang my comic? <laughs> <laughs> hey, Alpha Core guy, <laughs> whose name I don't actually know, and I need to look up. It's Retardo. No, it's, it's Ricky not Retardo. Retardo. It's not Ricky Retardo. <laughs> my name is Ricky Retardo. <laughs> Ricky. <laughs> well, are you excited that you're finally getting your first Alpha Core adventure, Ricky? <gasps> oh, yay! <laughs> 
I'm so excited. <laughs> so you got your helmet on I'm so you don't get excited. hurt. I'm so excited. Yeah. I got my helmet. <laughs> I'm so excited I know, for you, I know, I know, I know. I'm so excited. Did the other members of Alpha Do you have Corp? any retarded Americans in your comic, though? <laughs> no, there's no retarded people in my comic. Uh, maybe That's someday. That is too retarded bad. Retarded guys writing it, though. <laughs> well, retarded guys writing Alpha Core. <laughs> Oh, I, I'm a that's man. That's not very nice. That's not nice. That's horrible. Well, uh, Ricky, I mean, what sort of adventures will you and the Alpha Corps be going on? You know my superpower, Dan? No, what are your superpowers? Helmet, number one. Helmet is your <laughs> helmet's one. a good power. Okay. That's right. You could hit me in the head with a rock. <laughs> Right or yeah. a two by four, <laughs> yeah, or even a horse could hit me, kick that's me in the it, head. That's, and I, that's I would be totally unscathed. That's something superheroes have to deal with a lot. A lot any, of horses. Any running amount around. of stairs you have, I could go up or down <laughs> without without any sort of problem because I have to tell me. Yeah, no matter what, the stairs there will not be an obstacle. For even you. if the stairs are slippery, <laughs> I could go up and down. <laughs> well. I saw that perhaps the Alpha Core. Uh, I've seen you facing off against Yaira. Is that a is that an exciting? Oh, she makes me feel silly. She makes you feel <laughs> silly. <My> silly aliens. <laughs> well, you got to keep that quiet, uh, Ricky. Yeah, I uh, feel silly. If you feel that way, uh, you need to. I don't know. Deal with that in a private location. So, which I have a question: Was she the same girl that was in in the second issue? Is she the same girl that's like with? Uh, Abraham Lincoln? Uh, she was in the basement uh, at some point. Uh, I, I forget if she was with Lincoln. the basement? She was... <laughs> <laughs> like in the Alamo? Yaira, Yaira briefly appears uh, you know disguised. What? I she is dis- my favorite comic because I like what Eric July is doing. Yeah. I like that he's... I like that he's... <laughs> Quit it down in comics. Right. And then he put his money where his mouth he is. He put his money where his mouth is. And then he's making his own whole comic universe. I can't wait to see the cartoon. Because <laughs> cartoons are too woke and gay. <laughs> yeah. Is Don't that, you think so, Vito? I, I bet I, you love it, though. I hate all the wokeness and the gay stuff, and I'm They're so excited. They're making Fruit Loops gay. Did you know that? Are Fruit Loops becoming gay? Is that yeah, happening? Yeah, the prize is you pull out a big cock. <laughs> Well, Ricky, I don't know if that's happening. And that fucking wabbit says... I think somebody pulled a prank on you or something. Oh, what do you mean? (laughs) Was there a big dick in your trick cereal? Yeah. Yeah. Okay, well, that's not good, Ricky. Somebody at the home is fucking around. It came (laughs) pre-milked. There's milk in your cereal to begin with. came pre-milked. I think the rest of the Alpha Core might be fucking with you, Ricky. Pre-milking them. What is that that you're drinking there? Some kind of a sugar water? It's uh, 10 calories in the prime. It's the same color. Why don't you try some no calories? It's only 10 calories. Calories, Ricky. What are you retarded? No, I'm not retarded, Ricky. All right. Mm. Okay. Well, I hope you and the Alpha Core go on some exciting adventures. I Me saw you- and Wonder Woman, Green yeah. Wonder Woman, well- and Green uh, Buzz Cut from Beavis and Butthead, but he's must. <laughs> He has muscles. as yeah. the other guy that's my friend. <laughs> yeah, you guys are all buddies, I guess. Someone told me the most exciting thing about you is that uh, we, we don't know anything about you yet. You know, that you're kind of a mysterious... I'm keeping it hidden. I have keeping... lumps all in my head like a golf ball <laughs> well, from getting hit in well, the head We've learned so you're much. mentally handicapped, which is exciting. And oh, one of the first actually, mentally, mentally especially able. Especially able hero. Well, that's exciting. I could read at an Eric July level, though. <laughs> wow. No, that's, that's somewhere between... I was going to say that's impressive. That's somewhere between but... first and twelfth grade, and I'll let you, I'll let you figure out your own... <laughs> Number exactly that it is. Maybe that, you can run fast as well. You know, he's a big he's a what big that's, runner. What that mean? That's when you you know he's a track runner. He runs around the track. I uh, could run pretty fast. I'll tell you. Yeah. Well, you can run. You can read. Ooh. And you have a helmet. Oh. <laughs> I already know helmet. more about you than I know about ISOM based on those three things alone. I put alone. my helmet on when I'm reading as well, in case <laughs> I get lightheaded and fall over. Well, of course, ISOM number one is now available from the Ripiverse website. It's only, it's on sale, right? Well, no, it's not on sale, is it? It's not on sale, it? no. All the merchant shit is on sale, <laughs> There's though. There's a 30% off. Black Friday discount on all ISOM related merch or all you Ripperverse think, related merchandise. You think Glenn merchandise. Beck's gonna put it on his network? <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Ricky. Look at where with my mouth looks on the guy up there. <laughs> you think Glenn Beck's gonna put it on his? Who you think Glenn I don't know. Beck's gonna put it on his network? Maybe Glenn you Beck know? wants an Alpha Core series. It could be the you know. You know, the in Alpha Core number two, I get a I get a pet bunny rabbit. Wow. <laughs> 
Well, be I very, like be very and careful with it. Oh, what do you mean? No, Ricky, you gotta be He's careful got with that rabbit. He's got a helmet too. The bunny's got a helmet too. <laughs> Please don't pet that bunny too hard, Ricky. You're setting yourself up for failure. Uh, this is gonna be a. I got the the mouth lo looking right. Do you think Eric July has read Mice and Men? <laughs> I don't think Eric July has read the title of Mice and Men. He probably got well. a headache at the of like I like I do of my oh my head. I need well. my reading helmet. I know. My head hurts. Now that we know that you share the intellectual level of Eric July, maybe we can go to you for certain insights as to his writing. Don't process. you think my helmet's cool? What do you think? Of, it's very it, cool. Why would I even have a helmet like this with the <laughs> big ski goggles? Like I'm flying a helicopter, but actually I'm just flying around my own I don't, human. I don't have you know. ever seen a superhero with a a big fucking helmet like this? Because I haven't. Yeah, I was gonna say, you know, like. Uh, this makes sense for like a Mega Man who's like a robot, you know? You kind of got yeah, like a Mega maybe Man. Maybe I'm a Mega Man. What do you maybe think about that? Maybe you're a Mega Man. Are you a Mega Man? Fucking idiot. <laughs> you don't know shit. <laughs> so you're kinda, I could be a Mega Man. You're a retarded green I'm Mega Man. I'm twice a Mega Man. You are. <laughs> wow. I like your cool jacket and your regular pants. Have you <laughs> thought about upgrading your superhero outfit to be maybe a little more super in any way? Mm, yeah, I thought about it. Okay. You know? <laughs> Uh, what might you add to uh, accent your current wardrobe? Like some tights or something? You saying? You can like oh, a yeah, fairy spandex. boy? Yeah. Wear like a wow. super? Come on! I'm like I like looking like a Vietnam War veteran. <laughs> well, that's kind of the. I, that's kind of what isn't I get. Isn't that an from interesting you. backstory? I, I mean, I guess wouldn't a Vietnam War? Wouldn't you be like sixty or seventy at this point? Black don't crack, baby. Black don't crack. Not even true. retarded. <laughs> <laughs> the crack. Are you related to Isom Knox? That's the big question. Yeah. Oh, you are. Okay. Yeah. Is there any of other, uh, you know, gravestones of Eric July's family that I perhaps? I used to tap that ass. <laughs> I used to tap who? Isom Knox. <laughs> no, no. Isom was a strong heterosexual man, I'm oh, sure. Oh, we didn't have terms like that <laughs> back in the day. <laughs> So you're a you're a former flexible. you're a former uh, I don't All know right. what you are but we love you thank you for Oops. coming by Ricky that was Ricky Retardo hey, from the welcome. Alpha Core I'm comic. Ricky Retardo everyone <laughs> check out my comic book called Alpha Core written by Chuck Dixon <laughs> <laughs> anime wow well, at least you got to work with the great Dixon, Chuck Dixon drawn by Chuck Dix off. <laughs> <laughs> All right, Ricky. Right? Because a woman. I got there. Yeah, you yeah. Got okay, it. Ricky. Thank and you. And they so say much. I'm retarded. <laughs> <laughs> People listening to the podcast hate those bits. Well, they've got to tune in for the Excuse visuals. Me, Redditors. Redditors. Who, to, who listen to the show well, hate those bits. We don't listen to the Redditors. I hate Redditors. I wish they would all get hit by a tractor or something. Well, Dick, I'll tell you, I'm waiting for the next season of Invincible, and I'm very excited for the first season of Alpha Four Core. episodes? Yeah, it's bullshit. Give me a fucking break, man. It's a cock tease. It's a cock tease and a half. And they wasted all that time making that Adam Eve, like, interstitial thing, which was not even that good. They didn't, didn't even show that? her tits. No. And they made her a kid. And they made her a kid. Have her... As an adult the worst, lady. The worst thing about any woman is learning about her childhood. Yes. So they made a whole, they, made a whole they took the hottest girl on the show and made and, and made her whole childhood thing about her. And her childhood was just, she's a, spe a super lady who then got adopted by a regular, it's not even an interesting. No. Whatever. Um, well, Dick, that's my problem. You got one more? Uh, yeah, it's not enough uh, leftovers. Not enough leftovers? We had enough leftovers for Thanksgiving for, like, one turkey sandwich, maybe a turkey sandwich and a half. Wow, you got fucked. I took a bunch of ham from Josh Denny's house. I don't know what happened. I, I don't know if my dad's hoarding turkey ham. or something, but... Yeah. Like, none. I'm going to call, call up Carl and ask if there's any more of that ham. Well, we didn't have any ham. Would you guys have turkey? Turkey. Fucked Maybe I'll up. make some ham next year. Make some ham. Make a ham. Ham's great. Maybe I'll do that. I had a great group of. I had a great bunch of leftovers, hanging out. Josh Denny uh, with Josh Denny and Carl. You're name dropping a lot. Is it, Josh na is Denny, it name like dropping? Like the host of the Food Network. <laughs> I want people to check out him and Carl do a great sports show. They were showing me their clips. Which have terrible sports show. Thumbnails, but the clips are good. Yeah, you can find them on YouTube. 
and uh, hanging out with a bunch of black gentlemen oh. who were all uh, smoking the reefer, as as people tend to do. People? Yes, all okay. sorts of people. White, black, and in between. Everyone loves the weed. Anyway, these gentlemen were so high, or faded, as they call it in their community, that... Uh, <laughs> White people say faded. Well, did those black people not say that as well? I thought there was a black I don't know. idiom that uh, white people latched on to. Oh, uh, maybe. Sounds too cool for something for white people to come up with. Anyway. Okay. Shut up. Speaking of leftovers. so cool. Uh, everybody's, they have a certain style that I appreciate. That Miles Morales is a much better Spider-Man than white bread Peter Yeah, I Parker. don't get the whole Miles Morales thing. He's fucking Spider-Man. They just want him to not be called Spider-Man, and that's it. And for some reason, it makes them really angry that he's called Spider-Man. And I'm like, well, what do you want to call him? Just Black Spider-Man? Like, you come up that's with Venom. a better name. Yeah, that's Venom. I was going to say you could name him, like, Venom Spider. And I'm like, no, because then it's Venom. I'm like, I don't know what else you call a spider guy. Why don't you guys just, You like, want to call him Webmaster? Would you be happy if it was called Webmaster? That sounds, that's a terrible name. Yeah. Black Web. That's not bad. Um, you always got to put black, though, when it's a black superhero, and then it's like, oh, it's too obvious. Like Blade? Yeah, like Black Blade. Black what Blade? should have been called. Wesley Snipes. Black <laughs> Blade. Black Blade. The Black Blade. Yeah, I don't know what's going on at that point is, speaking of leftovers, everybody's enjoyed the meal. There's still some food left over. And this gentleman said, I want an ice cream sandwich. And, of course, we said, ice cream sandwich. Well, that's good. What, are you going to go to the corner store, get yourself one of those? Liquor uh, store? Yeah, go whatever yeah. it is, wherever. The, Pick up one of those roses in a sure. glass vial. <laughs> I'm not making those assumptions about this gentleman. He said, no. What does that mean? There's ice cream in the freezer. And I said, okay, well, that's just ice cream. How are you going to transform that into an ice cream sandwich? He said, well, just there's. Put it on some cookies. There's the, yeah, put it on some cookies. There were no yeah. cookies, unfortunately. Go get some cookies. He said, store. well, no, you take, I have the ice cream. And then, of course, there are these leftover bread rolls that are here. So what I can do is slice a bread roll in half and put ice cream on it. And that, of course, is an ice cream sandwich. Is this part of the black guys being cool that you're saying? No, this was this was black yeah, guys being high. <laughs> and then Carl red roll of ice cream all over it. Yeah, Carl starts fucking it up because he's like, "You are not putting ice cream on a bread roll." And I'm like, "You motherfucker, shut the fuck up!" A dude's about to eat ice cream on bread. That's hilarious. Don't say anything. So I had a huge argument about it. And he said, "You don't understand. You don't understand. I'm not going to just put ice cream on bread." Okay. I'm like, "Oh, okay, good." He goes, yeah. "We're going to cut it in half, put a little butter on it, and toast it." And then put ice cream on bread. And I went, well, that right. just makes perfect sense to me. How That's leftovers right there. So I watched a black guy <laughs> toast a roll, put butter on it, put a bunch of vanilla ice cream in the middle, and just eat it like a psychopath while watching Invincible. <laughs> and I went, well, that's Thanksgiving for you. That's one of those classic... How can you not love? You know how black people are always giving white people shit for, you know, we don't use enough spices. We don't know how to cook. Yeah, that's They've got a good whenever point. Whenever I think of black people giving white people <laughs> shit, it's that not, they don't use enough spices. Yeah, hey, that's part of it. And I think they're right because I had never thought once in my life after Thanksgiving Bread's dinner not a spice, to take though. a piece of bread. He put butter on it and he toasted it. It's not a it. spice. It's a little bit of flavor there. Okay, but that, you know, he could have, look, point is that these are a. Uh, people of many wonderful cuisines and uh, <laughs> what jerk chicken uh, jerk chicken yes yeah. what uh, else? collard greens of course chitlins uh, I was gonna say chitlins you were gonna say chitlins <laughs> but racistly uh, what else do black people like they're experts at mac and cheese I've heard it's not really their invention however uh, dirt cookies I've watched some documentaries about that Buddy, come, come on <laughs> <laughs> ribs, ribs, fucking barbecue slab. I mean, they're making a lot of good jambalaya, a lot of pork Cajun related dishes. Fucking... They have mastered the the pig. I'll give them that. Yeah. Sometimes I watch um, those documentaries where it's just an you old. You let a black guy eat a bread ice cream sandwich <laughs> yeah. just to like laugh at him and tell the story <laughs> on your white people podcast. I did. I that's did. Fucking, I did that's go. Twisted. Carl, shut the fuck up and let him do it. This is gonna be hilarious. It's twisted. And then at one point, I think he got tired of the bread, so he was just eating the ice cream out of the bottom half of the bread like a bread bowl. 
<laughs> it was an ice cream bread bowl. Nobody had cookies for this fucking <laughs> no, guy. No, there was no cookies. There was pie. I don't know why. Josh Denny's going to be pissed pie. at you for telling this story about no. Thanksgiving that you're like using for. Your I know he's really. Cloud. Anytime I go over and I have a fun time, I'm not allowed to talk about it. No, me and the uh, what do you call it? As long as I promote Who was him. this guy? Oh God, I forget his name. I think his no. One guy's name was Allo. And I'm like, like the fucking, like, you know, the plant that you make, like, medicine out of. But I didn't ask him that. I assume it's spelled differently. How's a guy's name Aloe? <laughs> anyway, I think Aloe was, he might have been the one who was eating a ice cream sandwich. An ice Maybe cream sandwich. Maybe it's his sandwich. nickname because he's always getting burned or something. Josh wasn't even in the room. Josh missed this, okay? So okay. if anyone gets to be mad at me, it's Carl. But Carl had a fantastic... Thanksgiving, Josh had a fantastic Thanksgiving as well. All right. Uh, Not enough leftovers. I still have some leftovers from that, though. Well, because the amount of leftovers I have is, like, I feel bad right when I... I want to have, like, a whole Tupperware of turkey where I can just go, oh, in the middle of the night, yeah, fuck Dude, this. you should have came over, nah. man. They make so much nah. food. Next nah. next year, swing by. No. What time did you guys get back? Uh, Like 10, and then I went right to bed. Yeah. Fair enough. Well, there's kids up there, and there's all kinds of stuff. I, I love Josh, I Denny, Carl like Thanksgiving. That. This is my second year eating their food, and uh, they just love to cook. Josh, Denny was on the Food Network. He loves cooking. Oh, he yeah. made this gnocchi with, like, Italian stuff. They make so much shit. I'm like, what the fuck is this gnocchi and deviled eggs? And How come you don't cook? You're Italian. I was going to, and I made biscuits, and they came out terrible, and they're in my car. Do you want a shitty biscuit? No. I might make Maybe you throw some ice cream in there. I might throw some ice cream on top. I was actually going to say. You don't cook, though. You're supposed to be Italian. You don't cook for shit. Because I got the timing wrong. What do I do? Because Wednesday I was up. You don't just have like a natural like knack for it, though. I like to cook. I just don't make time for it. And my kitchen sucks. I have a tiny kitchen. There's no room for like pots and pans and shit. If I had a nice kitchen like yours with a big, you got a big kitchen island and everything. Mm -hmm. You need room for all the ingredients and shit. Room? How much room do you need for a little bit of like a cup of flour? Some I got a tiny. I was like rolling out the biscuits. I didn't even have enough room. I have a tiny little fucking cutting board. It all sucks. Well, that's too bad. I need a big Italian kitchen. Uh, okay, everybody. And I need time, of course, to take my uh, razor blade and razor blade the garlic. <laughs> no, yeah, I'm not gonna do that. I got a mandolin slicer for the garlic. Are you a garlic boy? You like garlic? Yeah, yeah, yeah. You got a little mandolin slicer though. I see it by the. No, no, no. Handful. I slice it up in these little tiny... Ooh, I love it. I don't know. I have some kind of thing where you squish it through, and it comes out. You do the garlic press. Yeah, it slices it, too. Wait, it slices it? Yeah, you go... No, so you have, a, you have, like, a vegetable slicer? It's like a little like a thing tiny one. Go, it slices it. Yeah, all right. This one, I think my way is better. Uh, okay. Look at this guy. Patreon.com yeah. slash wow. um, biggest problem. Thank you for the uh, Black Pac-Man. Stop calling him Black Pac-Man. He's Chogunkin. I don't think I'm allowed to say that. Look, he's riding him. <laughs> I know. You <laughs> fucking love that. <laughs> Pac-Man inside of a Pac-Man. It's a Pac-Man inside of That's cool. You saw you can also put him on the front of the base there. It's got a little, you can put his feet there. So. Oh, I can put Pac-Man If you want a little Pac-Man in the front, not riding in it. Uh, I might do that later tonight. You're gonna throw that thing out? No, no, no! I'll keep it in here with. Yeah, these, put it up uh, with all toys? the other tchotchkes. Oh. With Sergeant Slaughter, we have <laughs> the gay Sergeant Slaughter, <laughs> Sergeant Fred Slaughter. Uh, guys, yeah. What about Ricky the Retard? I hope he gets to be. I hope uh, he's the star of the Alpha Corps. I think he's the secret ringer. Because he can't see unassuming... his eyes. He's like mysterious. How do you design a character with just a green jacket and a fucking gray T-shirt? Come on. It's cool, man. Look at that. It looks like shit. They all look like shit. His pants are all baggy. The lady with the... Okay, I'll say this. The cyber whips at least are something on the lady. Oh, she's yeah. got green cyber whips. Yeah. What's the black guy got? He doesn't even have a gun or something. Uh, He should have... An, just make him... Just make him... He's got this jacket. Just make him a black it's mega man. In, in Flores Park. Uh, yeah, in Texas. <laughs> yeah, it's cold. Is he, is he in charge of data analysis? Sucking is cock. he going to figure out all the data analysis that they've been slow yeah. on? Yeah, that Valdez is has Chuck, been. Did Chuck Dixon <laughs> figure out an entire story of AlphaCore <laughs> figuring out their data analysis issues? Poor Chuck Dixon. I'm so glad that was in the trailer. We need to work on our data analysis, Flores, or whatever your fuck, Valdez. Oh, God. <clears throat> 
People are asking. I us. feel bad for the people that are supporting this shit, but I also hate them and wish that they got some kind of a stupid cancer. I don't know what's going on, but I hope uh, everybody enjoys. Everybody going, oh my god, he got Chuck Dixon, the creator of the Clinton Cash graphic novel. Well, just imagine if you got somebody <laughs> like uh, David Hyde Pierce to proofread your super right, killer. David Hyde Pierce. You fucking with me? No. Who is He's it? Niles from Frasier. Yeah, if I got Niles to read it. Yeah, or if you got like the producer for Joker's Wild or Joker's Joker's Jokers to give you some tips on Super Killer, mm. that would be incredible. Well, I think my own notes are all I need. Well, we'll see. All right. What the fuck is that? <laughs> you read it. It's not bad. Ethan likes it. Ethan right. Van Skyver. All right. The creator right. of it's Green Cyber Lantern. Frog. He's oh, not yeah, the creator okay, of Green yeah. Lantern, but. Could the artists for the show please send in some fan art that's not horribly disgusting? Um, I, I got my biggest problem shirt, and I posted a picture of myself wearing it on my Instagram story. Just out of curiosity, I'm like, I wonder if anybody's going to Google that and have that become a reflection of, you know, my values. Because right now, if you go to you Google biggest problem, you find the website, you look at the fan art, and like... Eighty percent of it is just horribly racist or pornographic. How's it racist? Like half of them are I saw them having gay sex. There's I saw them that's not racist. Blowing super killer. That's I saw them blowing Vito. Black love. I saw them getting it in the butt from Vito. It I is. Think. It is being done. Uh, in the gay there's way. of course a lot of um, other uh, super killer racist kneeling way. on uh, I saw neck like George Floyd. Yeah, it's racist. Uh, a lot of Vito. <laughs> yeah, I got in trouble cats, for that one, including one of him molesting like a tiny little cat girl that clearly looks about. Oh five yeah, years that old, one's like. That one's fucked up. Do we need to, to password protect so the fan reasons. art page so normies Vito can't find birth it? To dick out of his butt. Um, that, there's, it's mostly just horribly disgusting. Um, you need to like put a not safe for work filter and default it to on or something because this is a bad, a bad idea. So yeah. more, more, more fan art, fan art of me fucking cats and black men being victimized is what I'm hearing. You don't know he's victimized. You're right. Rest in power uh, or rise in power. I don't fucking know. Rise in I don't power. make the fan art, man. Is that I how they make that. Is page. that how they do it now? No, they rise say, in. They say that was rest the worst in part power. of the Spider Man, the Black Spider Man movie, mm. where he's like rest in they power. Had that big mural, mural of his uncle, yeah. who's a bad guy. It's like, well, well, yeah, okay. <laughs> <laughs> but then they have the same mural for his dad, and his dad was dead. The cop. Yeah, in the alternate. Universe. Who do you think was putting him in prison? All right. He's the wor uh, he's worse than the, the he's criminal. Worse. Yeah, they got no heroes down there. Some of these cops are fine people, I'm sure. Uh, okay. Yeah. All right. Anyway, we're not changing the fan art page, and I I assume. Oh, I had forgotten about that completely. You could put a toggle, I guess. For what? Not all the not safe for one. You got to like click it to see all the fan art. I don't see how Why that the helps. the fuck would you want to do that? No one's going to click on the fan art page and come to see the show. And if they go to the show, they're going to go to the list of the problems. And like one of the top ones is like, I'm not allowed to do blackface, which I already had one guest to be like, so what is this show exactly? And I went, no, no, no. It's like funny. It's like a funny show. It's not funny. They're like, is it about, what about this one? That, uh, I think we have a couple Jewish problems. On. Well, you know what? I'm not even going to talk about what problems are on there. They're all great. <laughs> Isn't anti-Semitism on there? So that's good. Yeah. Yeah. We're a pro. What's it rated? What's I mean, it ranked? It's not, no, it's not doing that Is it that positive good. or negative? I don't think anti-Semitism is negative. I hope it's not. <laughs> Please vote up anti-Semitism so I can get more guests on this show. <laughs> That's a bad pitch. <laughs> <laughs> also, if you would like to get Biggest Problem merch and horrify your family by having them stumble across the fan art page, head over to killdozer.industries and buy yourself a Biggest Problem t-shirt. Okay. And maybe a hat. The biggest problem in the universe is themed apartments. Mm. I don't know who the fuck thought it was a good idea to put out fake little grain silos and fake little tiny patches of wheat fields outside of this fucking brand new apartment complex. Like, you think any of these fucking people are really so dumb that they think that, oh, just Wait, because is that you found a bunch of perfectly good farmland and no fucking idea. apartments that, oh, I'm going to live in the majesty of old. They have like fake my wheat fields in their apartment? <laughs> Outside? Fucking fake fucking bullshit, fucking artificial, fucking rural lifestyle, fucking horse shit. That guy should be fucking drawn and quartered, whoever fucking designed that thing. 
Uh, anyway, go fuck yourself, Dick. It's kind of on theme. Some communities design themselves around a theme. So you're saying there's apartments that they're theming? I think it means outside the apartment. Like, the complex must be like, well, yeah. welcome to Wonderland. I, I don't think whatever. that they have a fucking little <laughs> private farm in every... Although that would be kind of cool. That would be cool. cool if you went into your bedroom and there's like... Yeehaw! Welcome to the <laughs> fucking 100 Acre Wolf Farm! Yeah. Uh, like Garfield's Friends. U.S. Acres, I mean. U.S. Acres, yeah. Yeah, horse in the fucking Why is pigs. there no U.S. Way Acres the themed retirement community? It's like, okay, you guys have like a farm out here and there's a silo. And stuff. Okay, cool. Let me see the apartment. It's one bedroom for. <laughs> it's also a fucking farm in here, dude. Oh my God, it's a fucking thing. Come on into the bathroom. You can take a shit in the field. Do like it's me. It's got like an outhouse door that's all crooked. It's got the moon thing in it. <laughs> Fuck it, I'm in. Yeah, well, I'm in, man. This sounds like wonderful to me. I don't understand what we're griping about. You could do worse. You ever go to that little, like, Dutch? Is that Hamas or no Hamas? That's A themed apartment? I don't know. Hamas or no Hamas? Let's, let me put that out. You ever go to that Dutch uh, village that's, like, on the way up the Pacific Coast Highway? Solvang. Is that what it is? Yeah, that's what it is. You ever go there? Let me play, like, a, a thing where, the, like, a darkness falls over me. What? Does that mean Solvang is bad? Women love, love Solvang. fucking <laughs> Solvang. <laughs> I like Solvang. It was cute. How many times have you been there? Just once. Just one time. <laughs> I grew up in Valencia. <laughs> yeah. Which is close to Solvang. <laughs> yeah. Every year, my whole life. Well, it's got a Solvang. Why don't you kill yourself? <laughs> you get to enjoy all sorts of Dutch uh, nonsense. I don't even remember. And like a candy store or something. Yeah. It's cute. They got cute stuff. Um, what was I doing? Oh, yeah, we need to do another poll. Yeah. So that one funny. They said that it's funny if you give copies of Isom to the mentally shirts, handicapped. Shirts. Shirts. Shirts, shirts, shirts that are too small. So their stomachs. Yeah. Whatever. I'm going to do it. You're also going to make an Isom porn parody. So you got a lot of plans. <laughs> I got all the time in the world. <laughs> You gotta, I'm get not it making done. A comic. you gotta get it done. Before. I have all the time yeah. in the world because I am only a critic. Yeah. So I'm only criticizing. But forever. wait, Dick, you're not putting your money where your mouth is, which is the worst possible thing that any critic can That's do. That's right, because your money is next to your <laughs> asshole. Every movie critic is supposed to make <laughs> movies for some reason. That's yeah. how it works. Yeah. You good at uh, criticizing movies? Why don't you make one? Well, it's kind of like the opposite. Right. Like making something is the opposite of criticizing it. Right. Um, so no. Well, critics, as we know, serve no function in society. We've never needed any sort of critical output on anything. Yeah, yeah. Hey, this blender killed a bunch of kids. Yeah, well, why don't you make a blender? Why don't you put your money where you... <laughs> at least that guy... At least that guy least was trying. made a blender. Uh, you know? Come on. <laughs> you gotta respect him. This gun backfired and murdered my mother. Well, how many guns have you made, asshole? None, probably. Yeah, there you go. That gun was a, a non-woke gun. <laughs> At least it wasn't woke. That's all that matters. These pit bulls are killing a lot of kids. Well, how many dogs how have you bred <laughs> to be uh, fighting right. for no reason? Yeah. None. Asshole. Why I really, I you... really fucking hate. Like, there was even some guy was like, I, I saw a review today that they were reviewing Isom, and it was all negative, of course. And he's like, the dialogue doesn't make any sense. And he's mm -hmm. a British guy. And I'm like, I think well, I it's watched the same review. You saw that? Yeah. And it's like, because you don't realize you have to read the dialogue in Ebonics, and then it doesn't make sense. <laughs> um, and he's like, but I really respect what he's trying to do. Why? Yeah. Why? Every, every charlatan and scumbag has at some point tried to make shit. Mm. You don't need to respect shit. If somebody just does something and it fucking sucks, you don't need to say, well, gosh, I really respect that they tried to make something that's total shit. No, you say, you fucking suck. You tried and you did bad because you are bad. Never do it again. <laughs> I can respect it on the like most basic level of, hey, you tried to make a thing. You know, I'm going to say that's better than just sitting around and jerking off all the time. You know, like, you try to make something happen. You could also have made other stuff, you know. It's like it's the same level of like I went outside and planted a tree. It's like all right, well yeah, you did something, but I'm not going to treat so it as when, a revolutionary. When, someone, when you're out act. driving around and somebody's just driving bad, 
and just while driving, making a mess, hitting people, <laughs> running people over, and you're like, you know what? I really respect that you're out here just doing. No, you think, why don't you fucking kill yourself? Well, I guess if you never plant drive a tree again. in a shitty way and kill a bunch of other trees, then yeah, maybe. Yeah, if you planted a tree like under the sidewalk, like all of L.A. Look, I support the spirit of creating. I like when people are trying oh, to create. You're part of the fucking problem, then. <laughs> but I'm, I'm not gonna give you some deep seated respect just for. Tra- I'm not gonna treat it as. A, I think the problem is treating it as a revolutionary act. Where you're like, this guy made fun of Spider-Man for ten years, okay, and then he made his own comic, and it's like that's not. I mean, yeah, hey, good work for trying. You put, Let's put your little fucking comic. It's good because all these people are all so desperately insecure that they can't they can't criticize the being a creator as bad because they themselves are so insecure about doing anything. Well, that's what I also don't understand. We're not going to criticize each other for trying new things, right? They're all, it's like this unspoken Mm. agreement. Like, well, you know, but you know, making things is a cool and good, a good try though. Right. I don't understand. Wrong. As I said, I'm like, shouldn't Eric be happy? Anyone's like critically discussing his work as if it matters in any way. Like, (laughs) is it? (laughs) I mean, (laughs) The fact that I'm, you know, I don't know, whatever. I'm getting on right, too right. down the weeds. Uh, what do you think? Women cops? Sure. Adam Eve? Go did you on. see that video? That's that- your fucking biggest problem. Four women trying to arrest yeah, that guy? Yeah, did you see that? I did see that. That was pretty great. I almost he got you. away, didn't he? He did get away. It's four fat women cops. Somebody needs to set it to fucking yakety sax or something, though. He's lucky he didn't get shot. Oh, God. Well, it seemed like it was in Britain or something. Mm. Were those American cops? Uh, They look pretty fat. Yeah. They did look like American cops in that way. Too fat. Yes. Go ahead. Too fat for Four Britain. fat women. women. Four fat women. I just got. Women cops. Pulled over uh, and got a ticket for speeding in the school zone because I was going 45 in a 20. Mm. Do you want to know why? Because school's out. There's no school this week. Oh. So I got a ticket well. for something that doesn't even matter. And I said, you realize school's out this week, right? And she says, you know, they have been known that's to... That's not what this is about. <laughs> when those lights Longer are flashing, days. that's the speed limit. This is not about the kids. And I'm thinking, you fucking cunt. It is exactly about the kids. So I have to go to fucking court because yeah. I doubled the fucking speed limit in a school zone. <laughs> fucking oh. fantastic. That sucks. Um, That's why every time I see those videos and it's like a guy gets pulled over for speeding. Yeah. And then he has like a warrant out for his arrest. So he starts shooting at the cops. I was like, oh, my God, I can't believe he would do that. I'm like, God, that guy's such a fucking hero. Yeah. You should just shoot at the cops anytime. They, well, <laughs> I can't say that. You're saying it way worse than I'm saying it. <laughs> I just think like. If the cops had pulled him over because he killed a guy, I'd be like, okay, well, that's a good reason to pull him over. But they pulled him over for speeding. They should be punished in some way for yeah. wasting anybody's time. Yeah, but I, if you're like, if you're at the point of your life, like where that guy is, like he didn't sound like a, a teenager, right? He sounded like an adult yeah, man. Yeah, but he was driving his car. He's not thinking if about you're at, If you're an adult man and you think that because it's Thanksgiving break, you can speed past a school and no. that you're not going to get pulled over for that. You're fucking retarded. <laughs> yeah, like, I if mean, you're getting pulled the over, the cops going, are going to get you. Oh, I can't believe it, because no school. Hey, are you serious? Well, you think that's going to save was, you? I don't Word know if he was thinking games? that far ahead, you know? I think it's more justifying it after the fact. You know, wait a minute. This seems yeah. unreasonable. Um, okay, one, one more? Sure. You're probably not going to play this one, but don't fucking say that Oh, well, doctors don't fucking give medication. I went to the doctor, dude, five minutes. Got Adderall. Left. Oh, that easy. Where? Normal doctor. Not this weird, sketchy fucking L.A. shit you guys have either. Fucking lose the weight, badass. And wow. Well, I'm going to eat a Sour Patch Kid despite you. Mm-hmm. Uh, Vito, yeah. you big, fat, retarded what retard. What the fuck is this? Oh. Eve didn't turn... That apple into solid gold during the Adam Eve special. Okay. That was during one of the regular episodes. Oh my God. How do you oh, expect me to buy that was. Super Killer? That was. That was. And the endorse camera. you. It was. If you can't even get your shit right. Yeah, it was. Come on, Vito. Stop saying it was. I know it was. I don't care. You want to win the way in? Fucked it up. You want to feel good about yourself? No. You want to be a fucking champion? Okay. Get your shit together. 
Think about what you're going to say before you say Please, it. No more voicemails about me getting which episode of Invincible yourself. contains a plot point wrong. Think I don't about what find that valued. Just think about what you're saying. Okay. I listened to you a couple episodes ago, and Vito's talking about stabbing tires in a parking lot or whatever. One of the funniest things I've ever seen was, uh... ah, fuck it, I fucked it up. Well, what a voice. Better luck, better luck next time. <laughs> That's my favorite voicemail ever. <laughs> the guy was about to give me shit, and then he couldn't even remember. He fucking blew it. Because he's a fucking fan of this show, and you're all fucking brain dead. Um, calling in to criticize me. Guys, get your Super Chats in now. We're going to read them. Don't forget to vote on all the problems at biggestprom.show. And join the Patreon to get all the bonus episodes at patreon.com slash biggestprom. Guys, don't miss out on those bonus episodes. They are a hoot and a half. Also, get your killdozer, or get your super fucking, get your biggest problem merchandise at killdozer.industries. Yeah. It's uh, a cool looking shirt now that I see it all printed out. Yeah, Except for all good. the stains and stuff. Okay, I got a little something on it. During I got gravy on it or something. Well, you have it's like multiple stains. <laughs> like there's one there, there's I, one down there. There's multiple ones even below look, that. All right, this is why I can't wear white t-shirts. I'm a sloppy boy. Regardless, great shirt. <sighs> okay, it looks good though. You do I need to adjust it because you wanted me to like fix parts of it? No, it's fine. Okay, then I will just leave good. it up as is. Okay. Yeah. Oh. Okay. Cheese in my pockets, Velveeta for two says free Josh Giddy. Ryan for five says, Can you imagine an imaginary menagerie manager imagining managing an imaginary menagerie? No. I cannot. Scroll. Oh, I have my own mouse now. God, this mouse is so good. <laughs> that's how much was that wheel. mouse? It's like twenty bucks. I get a two hundred dollar mouse. Solid gold. Yeah, it should be. Okay, let's see. Coup for five. This year I'm thankful for all the fans out there having not killed themselves. I have the sticker here. Was there any mail? Didn't I mention oh, that? Oh, yeah, yeah. Keep reading. Thank you all for not killing yourselves. Thank you, Koof. Red for five. If Isom can fly, then why can't he change the batteries in his smoke detector? Well, that's a cultural issue. Nominai for two. Are they Low having blow. the gain? Okay, I know what you're doing. Dumb username for two. Tried to get me to say a slur. For mm. two, Kurt Metzger would make a great Butch Killigan. Yeah, Kurt Metzger sounds awesome. Mm. Reginald Von Vonderson for five. Vito getting to Adam 22's party had TBF awkward since he's retarded. <laughs> Sarah Gardner for two. Vito, why are you fat and late? Well, I know I'm fat, but Dick's um, the reason we're late. Okay, this is this is from This is the see. mail that I tried to look at and you yelled at me. Yeah, this is from Uno. Okay. I think these are the same, so here. Mm. It's just like a lot of like schizo stuff. Okay, this is Vito horrifying. Lost. I don't want this at all. <laughs> Please enjoy these zines I spend minutes on. Okay. This Senpai. looks like this is Angoromon. This looks like what I get before a guy comes to my house and stabs me. Tell Sean to call me back. No, I will not. Oh, this is a Digimon here. <laughs> Does that open up? Yeah, it opens up. Here's a close up. Comic. This is a close up of, of autistic, autistic boobs. boobs. Yeah. Well, don't show that. We're going to get. Fuck you think we're going to get dinged for that? How did he make a book here? The he just, evil look, Buster he folded Baxter. folded it all fancy. Rabbit God of. Okay. I like it. Criticized Isom. Please don't, please don't come to my house. This is terrifying. A tribute zine. Cool. Okay. Mine has a little note that says, I live inside you. Okay. Non-racist. No, <laughs> Pull up. Not like this. Depiction of Eric July. Oh, that's cool. Well, thank you right. for the arts and crafts. What a create! You know what? I got to say, I really appreciate Anal that he put his money where his mouth is I and sound made sucks. his Dick through own a zine. <laughs> I've got, I got, I got a lot of little... At Vito Comedy, okay. Italian funny cries. Not as funny, but still funny as a woman and bisexual. Have you shown these to your therapist, perhaps? Maybe find out. They'd have some revisions to make. Isis, sometimes funny. Lovers of ice cream. That's the Taliban, bro. <laughs> Couldn't pass a Bechdel test. Isis cream. It's got something about Israel here. Okay. Trademark fraud. Always Google the name of your books. Okay. Anal reviews. That's cool. Thanks for this. By Ono. Okay, keep reading those. It says, I don't fucking know what this was, but it was still better than I saw. Well, I can agree with that. I can definitely agree with that sentiment. 
Uh, are you still going through the box? Well, MSG enthusiast it. for two seventy nine says, "Way to be late. I'm very disappointed." Well, at least you super chatted. Red for two, late and gay flag. Look at that LGBT flag. Jameis for two. How many stones should we cast on Vito for this? Twenty three. As he presents for five, says, make super killer stickers, Vito. I can add those to the store. I can also add biggest problem stickers to the store. That's another thing we're going to say. Guys, uh, let me know. We have, I can add various merchandise to the store. Somebody suggested that they don't want snapback hats. They want trucker hats. Dick, what do you think? You more a trucker I mean, hat I guy? I don't care. You're not a hat guy, huh? No. I'll My head is too big. Well, I'll put up. I can't wear any hats. I'll see if I can put up a trucker hat in the store. Lane Steel for two. Blocking lofty pixels. It's fun and it's free. Yes, block them. Joe Ray for 10. I would buy a trapezoid logo hat. <laughs> I would Thank love to see Thank you very much. <laughs> I think it would, it would adjust. It would compensate for the wraparound. Just make it. Who fucking cares? A big weird upside down pyramid on your hat where people are going, what the fuck? Is, why is your hat like... <laughs> Perspective. <laughs> I think it would just add a little perspective. Justin, can have you ever seen that? No, but maybe I'm the first guy to figure it out, or maybe it's been happening subconsciously. Does that happen to you and a lot? I've never noticed. Oh, it. so that's like an industry. Maybe technique. I figured out an industry technique that yeah. has never been covered before. What is that sticker? Uh, I'm trying to read it. Okay, there's a lot of stuff. Man, people are just sending us little schizophrenic packages all over the place. Full of tchotchkes and fingernail clippings and hair from their girlfriend. Uh, hey, Dick and Vito, here are some Eric July stickers, uh, plus some extra stuff laying around the shop. Let mm. me know if you guys need anything or have any requests. Uh, uh, AllStarRaps.com. All-Star Raps. Oh, is that the guy who was going to help me wrap my car with a bunch of anime shit? <laughs> These are great, actually. Let me Look see. at this. <laughs> <laughs> it's every frame of the uh when Eric July got super chatted, what's I saw him superpower? Can he fly? <laughs> I'm putting one when of these, he was on that. I'm putting one of these on show. my car. You can't see it. It's too you gotta hold it in front of you. Wait, That's right not there? Focused. I don't fucking know. Here. Look. Like that. I'm gonna put this on my car. <laughs> what's I saw him superpower? Can he fly? <laughs> Let's talk warehouses Let's and talk warehouse related, related things. things. Oh, yeah, these are great. Well, okay. Eric had a good time on that show. God, that was so... I really wanted him and Destiny to go at it, and, like, nothing happened on that show. That show sucked. Um, he's too stupid to make entertainment. Destiny. Yeah. Yeah. They wouldn't have, well, thank you for the stickers. All-Star Raps, you're going to help me put an anime waifu on my car if it's the same guy I'm thinking of. I'm excited Joe okay. Ray wants the trapezoid logo. Justin Kent says, please sell tall size t shirts. Uh, I don't know if they offer them. Whatever t shirts yeah, I put that's up. A hard, that's hard, buddy. Yeah, that's hard like a find. different thing. I'll send you a logo if you want to make your own print. It. Ethan is You're not allowed to do that. <laughs> well, I guess that's a good point. <laughs> oh, shit. Did my scroll wheel break on my perfect mouse? You probably have to click on the thing. No, it's broken for some reason. Ethan is losing weight and looking great, says Sessrin's fan club for five. Vito, you have no excuse. You're a sorry, lazy excuse. <laughs> Much love to Dick, though. Thank okay, you. Got it. Ethan does look good. I'm doing good. It's good. I'm, I'm feeling good. <sighs> Are you going to make it? Yeah. Let's look at you bouncing like a fucking bunny over okay. there. The second Stop. best for five. Hey, Dick and Vito, I just what made- if we, What if we doubled it or nothing? Well, then do I got to pay the 1000 if I yeah, don't make it? Yeah, I'd have to triple or it. Triple or... <laughs> triple? Triple or you pay a 1000 Or I got to pay a 1000 give it yeah. to the audience? Hamas. Hamas. I'd have to think about it. It'd be a good Ooh. incentive. <laughs> It'd spice up the show. And then when I have to pay $1,000, I'd cry. You're going to get another crying veto episode. Yeah. My monies! There's no way you're going to make it. There's no way you're going to make the way in. Wow. Why Not in, impossible. Why don't you show a little bit of faith? No. I still got a week. Here. <laughs> <laughs> Look, man, if I can just if I can just make some progress, I'll be happy. You have a week. Shut the fuck up. There's no I've, way you're going to do it. I've been trying, okay? Uh, not hard enough? You waited till the Obviously last Obviously not hard enough. I know. To try it all. I've been trying. Uh, all that money's got to go back. I've learned some healthy habits. And I'm hoping the next three months are going to be uh, infinitely better. 
You're going to fail the weight months. loss thing, and then you're going to shoot right back up. Shooting back at the 310. I'm yeah. going past it. If I don't make the weigh in, that should be the punishment. Like I have to gorge. gain it all back. <laughs> I just have to go eat at a buffet until it all comes back. All right, this is... Somebody sent us what? Hawaiian fun drinks? I don't drinks? know what this is, yeah. Um, looks tasty. I, don't, I think this is to our show. Here, let me see. Give me the box. It doesn't uh, does it just say from Amazon. Well... Japanese sodas. Japanese soda. There you go. All right. A very tasty soda. This is a set. Do not separate. Nobody nobody put a... You got to put a little gift note in the box, guys. Yeah. Second best for five says Dick and Vito. I just made 2K Thank off you. crypto. Can you all say something about positive about crypto so we can manifest some good vibes for all? I hope you get addicted to heroin off that money you just won. I think you should donate it to me for trying so at hard. Vito loses at the Vito site. Yeah, well, no, yeah. just give it directly to me for trying my best. Nah, put it at VitoLoses.com. Yeah, and then you get double. Hey, if you guys want to, like, just fuck with Vito, go to VitoLoses.com and put that. a bunch of money Don't on there. Because there's no <laughs> chance, there's no chance he's going to win it. <laughs> There's no just, chance. So you just can goes put up, five if grand. If it just goes up to 10K, whatever you put on it. there, he's not going to win because there is no chance that he's making the way in. Okay, well that would actually hurt. So go bad. there. <laughs> you could put thir- you could go you could go to vitaloses.com and put $30,000 and it doesn't matter. And it doesn't matter. You're getting it right back in USDC. It's not even crypto. It's US dollar coin money. If they put up 10K, I would just work out for like 24 hours physically, straight. It's physically impossible for Vito to lose it the might, amount of money that he has to lose. It might be physically impossible. And he won't even do it, even if he could. Thanks for the vote. Put $100,000 up there. I've lost some weight. That's good. Well, can we focus on Six the positive? Months. Look, yes, it's, but, I've, but I've gained new perspectives on fitness. I didn't even know you could lose weight before now. <laughs> and I've been, you know, and I've been doing some weightlifting, so I probably put on some muscle there that's offsetting it. Oh, yeah, okay. The allegation is that, oh, sorry, from Junk and Atheist Studio for Five, the allegation is Charlie Sheen banged Corey Haim on the set of Lucas in Glen Ellen, Illinois. I'm going to make a true crime video about it because it's local. Well, there you go. Okay. The local boy. You can go to the scene cool. of the rape. M for two says those host ages, oh, hostages look fine to me. Maxwell, 21 for $17. I think my mouse is out of batteries. No, it's because it's all the way over there. We do this every week. No, it's working now. Dick and Vito for it's your boy Prime. I hope you both had an excellent Thanksgiving. Bigger problem, women giving directions while driving somewhere unfamiliar or taking professional family photos. Well, you got a professional. You got a family portrait. Yeah. Um, there was no di- women giving directions. Then, so. <laughs> well, I think he's giving us two problems. Uh, Isaac, yeah, vi- that, I don't don't give two. Give okay, one. it makes it seem like you're telling a story, and it's like, <laughs> well, I, now I can't pay attention to the second one. Just give one. Well, thank you, Max. People do that in emails too. Hey, d- here's this, and, then and the next paragraph. Here's this. I also think like, wh- give me one th- thought. I don't know what to do with this, man. I do get emails one. from guys who give me uh, like four things that are going on, and then one. I, just, I respond to whatever the last one was. Go, I don't. They go, if I see two things, out. Spam, <laughs> spam, 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 spam. I just go, well, I'm not going to respond to four different paragraphs. I'm going to pick one of them and go, yeah, for that one, I don't want to do this. Yeah. Isaac the Ox for 10 says, Vito is kind of right about the hat. My client Maddox tweeted at was a beer with a circular logo. Okay. Yeah. We had TBF distorted in the flat file. Nobody would do it on a hat, but it could work. He's so I don't know if he was being be serious or just no, fucking he's with only me. Only fucking okay. with you. Moon milk for five. I can't sleep, so I'm super chatting. Very good reason to super chat. You should try to get Mike David from Red Bar or Mumkey Jones. I look forward to hearing about the hot goss later. Sure. Someone told me the guy from Red Bar doesn't go on anyone else's show. Uh, who is that? Red Bar. Do you know Red Bar? Red I only Bar know because people are like are ta- always talking about him with Josh Denny. Well, he fights with saying, like, he fights with a lot of different shows and entertainers and other people. Oh, he doesn't but go I, on shows. I think he doesn't go on. I think he just does his own show and talks shit about everybody else. That's Mike, David. If Mike David wants to, well, he's not going to come by. I don't think he leaves his house either. I don't know. Mike David, you have to leave your house if you want to come. Just call on, in. He could call in. We might get some call in guests. Or is he just going to say like the n word a whole bunch? I don't know. I don't know that much about him. We get comments randomly that go say. uh, Mike from Red Bar is going to destroy you. And I go, wait, why? I don't understand. <laughs> I don't even know this guy. Yeah. So, James Gardner. Thanks for the money. Thank you for the money. James Gardner. 
uh, for 20, he says, Black Exploitation. I know I know that name. With a bunny. What, Mike David? Red Bar. Red Bar is a podcaster guy. I got a little bit of the history of it, where he was doing a podcast. Okay. He pissed off some lady in Hollywood. She got him banned from YouTube and oh God. Google iTunes or whatever. Okay. Because he fucked with her. And then mm. Gavin McGinnis felt bad for him and gave him a show on Compound Media. Okay. And then he did the show and would just talk shit about everyone else on Compound Media and how incompetent they were and how much they sucked. I like that. And how they That's weren't funny. funny. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> and then Anthony Acumia said, uh, I don't want you on my network anymore. What? All you do Why? is talk shit about- What did about- I do? <laughs> <laughs> so- I like this guy. All right, all right, all right. <laughs> yeah, so apparently then he went his own way, and now his show is all about how all those guys are incompetent and unfunny. It's funnier when you're on the network it is, to shit yeah, on it, him, is, but it was funnier I when you were still, still there. Funny. It's still funny. That's a good bit. All right, here I am on Compound Media, the this shittiest sucks, fucking network sucks. that ever sucked, and Anthony <laughs> Cumia's a piece of shit, and you're like, all right, hey, it's kind of the bad boy Whoa. of the Compound Network. Anyway, I might be getting that story long, that wrong. That's how it was explained to me. Yeah. The second best for five, Super Killer and I saw him for Mortal Kombat 1. What are their fatalities? Oh, Super Killer's going to shoot that guy in the head, and I saw going to suck Super Killer just makes you wait. Forever. Yeah. It's not taking that long. We haven't yeah. even reached the fucking goes, dun, 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 dun. deadline. And then he goes like this. <laughs> Shut up. I saw Strikers back in Mortal Kombat, but only as a assist character. Do you remember Stryker, the cop from Mortal yeah, Kombat 3? Yeah. He's cool. Fat, kind of chubby, stupid beat cop. Great guy Gabe for six ninety nine Canadian. Thanks what for- What is oh. Isom's fatality? He sucks guys off. Uh, Bites that gay with joke. his teeth. What do you want? Okay, you tell a good one then. I don't know. The retar- Ricky Retardo shows up and they high five. And Ricky Retardo. They make you read the Isom comic book until you fall asleep and then they step on your skull. Great guy, Gabe, for seven Canadian. Thanks for upgrading your store, Dick. Now my round ass can buy a 4XL shirt. See, at least I'm not a 4X. If I hit 4X, that's the end of the road. Things looking a little tight. Shut up. This is the 3X and it's fine. I'm going down to a 2 and it's going to be great. Mm. Dean Shock for 20 USD. Happy Thanksgiving, boys. I don't know why it says and mama, but and mama's argument boiled down. Oh, Nacho Mama. That was the one who I was fighting against on that Kicker Key. That old Keep. fat bitch that yeah. you yielded to. There was no beating her, man. She won every, She swept every round. You're talking about old lady, man. Yeah, but you don't want to beat up on. She also, okay, and then she went in. Well, she said, I'm getting surgery. But it turned out the surgery was a breast reduction because she has back issues. And what, to remove all that fat from your ass, <laughs> See, you, you stupid You should have went on kick yeah, come You would have won. You would have. Give me seven you to one, all right, Golden Girls. Do. I got the Golden Girls over here. You should. They should. Kick or keep needs a phone a friend situation. Yeah, yeah, yeah. That would be good. Where I should be able to be like, all right, for this round, I got to bring in Dick. And then you come in, phone a friend, you handle that round. And yeah. Then you can head out. That is my official suggestion to you, Destiny and Quantorius. Add a phone a friend system. They and made it sound like you gave up though, like you just quit. I said, said, like I said, I can't win this round. Nacho Mama, you win. Uh, you didn't even about try? halfway through. I went halfway through the round, and then I realized I was just out of steam. So I just went. You know what? I forfeit. You can't do that. Why not? Because all the people are rooting for you. They weren't. You have to go out. Like, didn't you see Dangerous Minds? Or I, th- I was, I thought I was gonna make a bigger embarrassment of myself if I just kept going. Oh. I was like, I'm taking the L. I can't win this round. I'm out oh, of gas. Oh man. Hey man, sometimes doesn't a boxer ever go? You know, you call it. Throw in the towel. I mean, that's like the worst. Uh huh. Okay. You go. Hey, I was beaten. I was beaten today. I felt beaten. Well, but you're not really like boxing. You're just like arguing. I'm arguing now. with an old lady, and she's destroying me. It was demoralizing. Oh, <laughs> and then you quit. And then I quit. Oh, I felt like it was Vito, the. You can never do that again. It was an optics play. No, 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 no. See, now you're saying you can't say it was a quit because you got beaten, and then say it was an optics play. It's like, a, it's it's a little uh, no. It was an optics. No, play. it's you or 
I was like, if I continue down this road, the only thing I can do is keep trying to shit on an old lady who says she's going into surgery tomorrow. And I was like, I just feel like it's just going to bet worse for me. if I. What, do you like old ladies? No, but the audience is stupid. Okay, remember how I said with the kick or keep audience, you have to know the audience. So when I said like, oh, I don't want teenagers to kill themselves, like Uh, obviously I- You said that as a winner. Now you're saying this shit as a loser. So it doesn't matter. There was no winning that situation. (laughs) All right. I uh, ran the numbers, and I said the imagine best. Imagine if Trump had done that with Hillary Clinton, if he had just given up. You might have a point. Maybe the silent majority was going to vote for me. I don't know. I made what I thought was the best play. No, you made a coward's play by quitting. It was not cowardly. It's I'm out of gas. I had no ammunition left in the tank. Uh-uh. All right, so I could either suicide drive the plane into the fucking World Trade Center. Of the, no, sure, fine. Yeah. Or I could fly it back to Baghdad and party with my friends. <laughs> no, there's no partying in Whoville for Okay, you. I could fly it back to Whoville and no. fucking get drunk. <laughs> Whatever. got to fly it right into the fucking Pearl Harbor. Anyway, as Dean Shock says, Nacho Mama's argument boiled down to streamers are raising our kids via the internet and should be doing it v- better. Vito was dumb to drop out. Losers like me were going to vote for you either way. Yeah, you you disappointed a lot of people. I made it to the finals. Can I get any amount of recognition for that? I won no. the first time I went no, on. No, 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 The no, second no, no, no. time I made it to the finals. Because now it's just going to be old ladies coming at you. If You've they, showed your weakness. If she's back It's on, like in Mr. Baseball when Tom Selleck shows that he right, can't Right, but hit now I'm prepared. Now I'm prepared. And he goes, now everybody across Japan is making a curveball. Unlike Eric July, I know a character arc, which is if I lose to the big boss in the first act, I calculate and I come back prepared for the no, second man, fight. Now you're like Worf, where every episode is just- Me getting my ass kicked. Yeah, they bring in a new big bad who can show their tough by beating you, and you'll quit. I'm ready. Die. If I go up against Nacho Mama again, I know what to do. You'll quit again. I won't quit again. What will you say? Push- What's off the table? What's not off the table? Nothing's off the table. I'm going to push it to the bitter end, and I'm going to call her a whore. I tried to say her f- husband was unfaithful. <laughs> that, nah, that wasn't working. That's not. <laughs> she's Teflon, man. She's fucking, she's a Drago, you man. She texted me or called me. I would have picked up. I, I would have known something. Time. I, I should have sent Dick. You need to figure out just a way for me to say, beat this old hey, lady. Hey, can you hold your arm up and just do this? <laughs> you ask, old bitch. Then she'd ask me to do it, and I'd get fucked. Nah, 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 nah. Yeah. Then you just ignore it and you say, well, no, you do it. Hold your arm up. Look, I was able to defeat the MRA guy Does with the sunglasses. Look like a big Montana? I'm able to defeat Does the OnlyFans whores. I know how to do that. You bring up an old lady talking her Southern wisdom about because you feel bad. Peach for tea. Her. I don't feel bad. It's just the anger I feel towards her is going to come off as unseemly. <laughs> you got to go. You got to go full bore. I know. I, look, I have a strategy, and I'm not revealing it. Okay, because if I reveal it, she'll plan for it. Look, man, everyone was disappointed. And they like you less because of your behavior. I was unprepared. Look, everybody liked everybody liked uh, Rocky less when he lost to. Did he lose to Clubber Lang one time and then came yeah, back? Yeah, and then Mickey died. Yeah, Mickey. Mickey was so disappointed. Mickey died. That's true. And but did Rocky give up? No, he came back. Okay, so I have a plan. <sighs> Shut okay. up, whatever. It's a fucking internet show. None of this matters. Thumb tizzle for a, ten. A, a two peat. You go on. Would have been. A repeat nah, would have been I good. I can't win that shit. Yeah, I know. You might. Thom Tizzle for 10. Veto card values bottom because of constant reprints. I agree. Too many versions of cards? Yes. I sold off my collection. If it wasn't for limited being fun, I would have dropped the game altogether. Yeah, magic sucks. Uh, the whole market is fucked. At least you can, get, you can buy it all at a fucking dollar discount now, though. The Black Friday magic Just deals. draw your own cards. What's the big deal? Sure. I'll draw my own cards. I can make them with AI now. John Riffs for five. Here's a buyer's remorse. When Lofty bought a car for his girlfriend who never slept with him, he can't even remember anything about the car. Lofty, did you really buy a car for a girl? That was the gay shit. I, I was on Riketa's show and Lofty called in and he's just like, just he's just like a bubbling pot of lies. He just like is a boiling over and spilling and spitting lies all over. Did he really he buy he, a car for a girl or do you think he's he lying He said about he that? did, but he bought it for a man who mm, didn't fuck him. Okay. He, he did not buy, no woman would ever drive a car that Lofty Pixels bought them. Are you kidding me? <laughs> Slim Willis 96. He did say that, though. He did? That's, he said it. That's not good. Don't buy... If a, someone's admitting to something that pathetic, they're doing something worse, Don't right? buy any woman a car unless 
Just don't buy any woman a car. How's that? Slim Willis 96 for five. Speaking of buyer's remorse, I got the same Samsung tablet for free with my AT&T account, but the service bill is very high. TBF. Cole Mark Hand for five. Shout out to the real sweet kids and big ups to Liquid Richard. Who the fuck is Liquid Richard? I thought you knew. No. I thought that was a reference to like something I didn't know. No, I don't know who Liquid Richard <laughs> We've is. We've been saying that for like a People year been saying of that super for years. Chats. Yeah, okay. Well, big ups. Stone Cold Flea for two. Vito should sing I'm Fat by Weird Al because he's fat. Uh, which one is your favorite ghost? Uh, Pinky. Why? Because it's the first Retarded. one. Retarded. No, Clyde. Clyde's the blue one, right? I think so. Blinky's the orange one? Pinky, Blinky. What's the red one? Sue? No, it's Pinky, Blinky, something, and Inky Clyde. Inky and Clyde. Inky and Clyde, yeah. What's the red one, then? Blinky. No, Blinky's the orange one. I think Inky's the red one. Inky is red? Why don't we look it up? You have the keyboard. Okay. Pac-Man Pac ghost names. Ghost names. From the Hold on, I'm going to I'm going to say I think it's Pinky's pink. Blinky is orange. They're, Inky is red. They're fickle, chaser, ambusher and stupid. Okay, well that's, that's the name. Japanese names. <laughs> I want the actual names. Here we go. Inky's the blue one. You got me whole fucked up. Blinky's the red one. Blinky's the red one. Pinky's the pink one. Inky, that would make sense. Blue ink is the Clyde. blue one, and Clyde is the orange one. Do you know that uh, Pac-Man wasn't his original name? Really? Yeah. I did know that. It was actually Pigger Man. No, that's not <laughs> who it was. <laughs> <laughs> but they thought that people all right that's pretty good that's that's a good one uh obtuse gnome for two it says vito's warehouse is his storyboard tablet yeah pretty much yeah load up on those fucking ipads i got two ipads so i can make more I have comics one at once. tablet for storyboarding it has been very useful uh, lemon trashy for two crimson stop eating dino nuggies you need a job tagger man similar to uh Pigger man. No. Uh, for 10, I remember how awful Bleach's pacing was, how they come up with whole filter arcs because the Hollow World arc was so god awful in its pacing. Seven years to tell you the events of a single day. Wow. Yeah, I didn't watch Bleach. Dumb username for five. I thought that red beard toy behind Dick was the Sword of Omens. Oh, this guy? Yeah, that's. Uh, Yick. That's Yick. Yeah, what's the name of the character? Andrew? I don't know. I forget. Yick, four, coming out soon. The fighting game, right? No, Yik's an RPG. No, but there's a fighting component to it. You didn't do voice lines for it? I did voice lines for it, but it's not. they didn't add a fight. It's just like for the battles. It's for the RPG battles. Oh, okay. Yeah, I think I'm in that I game and you're that. in that game. Yeah. Which is cool. Get, the, get Yik and you'll see us in it. Bender for five. Yik is spelled Y-I-I-K. If you get it on Steam now, you'll get a free upgrade when... Ooh. The new version launches, I believe. Okay. Bender for five. I liked Panderverse. Carmen crying to his mom about Kathleen Kennedy is how I imagine that fat thumb ass wakes up daily. That fucking guy. On the John yeah. for 10 Canadian. After listening to Low Value Mail, I started doing a bi-weekly 48-hour fast. And I will confirm there's no way Vito could handle even a 24-hour fast. The first time I only landed 36th hours. Could you, you ever do a fast? No, I've tried it. I can't do it. What if there was money involved? Yeah. But how long? 24 hours? 48 forever. hours? Until you're dead. Okay, I'm going to fast forever for money. We double the money at every hour. <laughs> I don't think I can One last that to long. two to four to eight. Geeks for five. Did you know there's an AlphaCore wealth advisory out of California and an AlphaCore Inc.? And if he gets sued again for trademark, I'll laugh really no, hard. No, because but uh, I don't it's think, not publishing. Yeah. I don't it's think they make different. books. So. Empod for 10 Canadian. Going to wait and watch the show tomorrow work. But here's some LGBT bucks from Canada because our, even our money is like a rainbow. Well, thank, thank you. you. Soul 2X for five. I bought an entire deep fried turkey from a black guy who runs a catering thing out of his garage. It's the best turkey I've ever eaten. Lol. Oh, man. I don't like know if that. I've ever had a deep fried turkey. That's what we had. You guys fried a turkey? Yeah. My dad always fries turkeys. Never set the house on fire doing it. Uh, it's fun no, watching those tree videos. In the yard on fire. Oh yeah, yeah. That's but not fun. the house, guys. I gotta say, where are these super chats? You're killing me. Come on, you gotta get these super chats in. Darius Ranikova goes for five. Says fatty, fatty hamburger patty. 
Miles Wilson for five. Says, I hired TaskRabbit workers to DoorDash at every Panda Express in L.A. for the next two weeks. First step, is that gonna, so I can't DoorDash? Is that the joke? What does that mean? I don't know. Because I'm getting Panda Express from the DoorDash. So he's saying he's going to do the same. Oh. Oh, is that how you're going to lose weight? Just have them oh. deliver you Panda Express all day? Lemon Trash Eat for Two says Red Bar sang a very racist DuckTales parody years ago. More, very more racist? Red Bar lore. I'm very excited. I'm into it. I like the whole going after everybody else on the network thing. That's on funny. the John for Five says Optics play Vito. People call you a PDF file. What optics? Yeah, what optics? I'm very That's good. don't don't give us don't bullshit us with the I'm optics winning, for an I old lady. To, look, I need to win over the kicker keep audience for the next time I'm on. Okay. And this was not the time to go hard in the paint because I would have come back and they would have said, Hey, that's that fat guy who fucked around with Nacho Mama. And I don't like it. Look her up. I had to keep the hat on la I had to keep the heat on Lav and that other girl. And also this fucking douchebag wearing sunglasses. Verico for Wasn't Lav the one that worked with Mr. Girl? Yeah, but now she's friends with Destiny again. It's all very confusing, and I don't get it. <laughs> I don't get how you accuse so Destiny she... of, like, sexual s impropriety and then go on his fun game show. Do you really not get it? I mean, I get because it, but I don't want to admit Always. that I get it. <laughs> yeah. And she just wanted uh, attention from Mr. Girl, who fell for it. Verico for seven says, Vito, did you see her at Ackman's Sniper Wolf video from three weeks ago debating the drama? Yeah, I told all those guys they're pussies. For being like, I can't believe Sniper Wolf showed up at this guy's house. Oh, oh yeah. my God. That's pathetic. All gas, no breakfast for five. Vito's shirt has stains because Josh and Carl ran out of tablecloths during Thanksgiving and he offered his shirt. It fit the table perfectly. Get it, Dick? Because I'm fat and my shirt is the size of a tablecloth. Fucking hilarious. Less, you need less words. Yeah, well, coup for two. Thank you all for blocking Lofty. Hashtag block a Lofty. Guys, and if you didn't super chat during this show, you are dead to Kill me. Yourself. The only way to redeem yourself in my eyes is to go to Killdozer.industries Industries and get yourself a Biggest Problem t-shirt. Don't forget, bonus episodes at Patreon.com slash Biggest Problem. And, of course, like and subscribe to the feed. Vote on all the problems at BiggestProblem.show. Uh, real quick, where is that list of our top supporters? No, no, no. I'll do this okay, part. Okay, you do that part. There yeah. it is, which I know I need to update because somebody yeah. yelled at me. But I'll update it for the next show. It was Thanksgiving. I was busy eating, which I like to do. Any other news from you, Dick? No. Oh, I have my fat watch pin. Did you see that? No. Where is it? My store. Mm. Wow, look. Only sour parts because they're so sour. Check it out. You going to play Pac-Man World? Yeah, I'll play that. Fat watch. Look, you can get a pen. Ooh. That's also a fat lady. <laughs> in the shopping cart, <laughs> popping out of the pen. That's her That's her mobility scooter. Did you get the pins in yet? No. Uh, but you have them on order? They're coming in? Yeah, they're coming in. You use Top Road? Mm-hmm. They do good work. I got to put my pins up in the store. You can get the Vito pins. A free pin. It's a nice pin. It's going to be all shiny, right? It's going to have the fucking... Mm, I don't know, really. Yeah. Well, I think I it looks good. I remember what they told me. Then I this. think it looks good. I, I like the shirt. shirt. Attack of the 50-ton woman. Did you get these printed? Not yet. I want one. Give me All a big right. one. You like a 3 or 4X? Four 3 for now. 3 for now. We're moving down to a 2. <clears throat> now you're going to get so upset. We're halfway between a 2 and a 3 right now. I'm getting back Man, to a 2. Man, if you have to weigh in next week. I don't want to talk about it. If you don't make it. Oof. I'm not coming in next week. It's going to be bad for you. I'm not coming in next week. How's Are you going to delay it like an hour so you can try to work out? No, I'm just going to hang myself out of shame because the whole audience is going to fucking they tell me what never, a loser I am. They will never let you in, hear the end of it. Unless I lose more weight moving forward. No, it could never. You know what? I don't. Okay. You I could never make up for I it. I fail at everything. Okay. Okay. But sometimes it works out. You're trying to boogie your way out of it. I am gonna boogie my way out of it. If you don't make everybody if you don't make thinks the I'm such a piece of shit, and I yeah. don't know, I'm just doing what I. But I'll try better in the future. Guys. If you don't make this weight loss thing, man, oof. I'm coming in next week. It'll be unrecoverable with a doctor, and the doctor's gonna say Vito has blood cancer, <laughs> yeah. and you're Vito all tried. gonna feel really. Yeah, he's gonna say Vito <laughs> tried. <laughs> But unfortunately, his blood cancer yeah, made it like impossible syrup. for him to lose weight. Because uh, you had so much time. 
I don't want to talk about it. We can talk about it next week. You, you had so much you time. You have though. all of next week to shit on me about it. Well, next week's the way in, I think. Yeah. Are you nervous? No, because I already know the outcome. Lo- lost. Which is I win, and no, everybody celebrates gonna, me. You're not going to win. It's going to be very close. Oof. It's going to be very close. I think you're going to weigh in at, I think you'll weigh in at, uh, you started at 310, right? Yeah. I'm going to weigh in at 300. <sighs> I think 294. Which is, I was at 293 last time. Yeah, I think you're going to have gained a pound. <laughs> Because you're going to be so nervous all week that you're going to eat. Maybe the nervousness will make the pounds uh, melt away. All you have to do is not eat for a week. Well, I tell you what, don't forget to super chat because it's the only thing that makes me exercise. What are you, what are you looking around for? I don't fucking know. The secret's not on there. <laughs> the secret to weight loss. I'm just going to get my fucking arms cut off. How's that? To start. All I know, guys, is we've made some progress. And Are thanks, you gonna take your clothes off? Thanks for joining me on my journey. I'm gonna go to a. I gotta go. To, I gotta find a sauna I can go to. Yo, you gotta go to like K Spa, hours. Crystal Spa, 24 hour Korean. Is that spa. the Korean one? Yeah. How much is a but day? You can't eat. How much is a day pass? To how uh, much is your fucking dignity worth? <laughs> I'm just asking for reference. I don't know, like 30 bucks. 30 bucks. That's totally reasonable. Yeah. You wanna go to the spa? No. Watch me be a fat Maybe. guy in the spa. Yeah. All right. What a show. Thanks, everybody. Once again. Do you think you're gonna wait? Do you think you're gonna make it? Yes. One hundred percent. I don't believe that. And I'm I gonna don't. get a sexy supermodel girlfriend who See, loves sarca- Pokemon. You're just being sarcastic. Whatever. Well, of course they love Pokemon. They're women. 25 love, years old. And I'm going to buy them a steel Pac-Man figure, and they're going to celebrate me forever <laughs> for it because of how cool it is. Why do you like that Pac-Man could sit in his face so much? It's cool. Look, it's got a little Pac-Man maze inside the Pac-Man. Oh, yeah, okay. That's pretty cool. Why would he make his own ma- Is he autistic, Pac-Man? I think this Pac-Man might be evil. I think he might not have made the evil Pac-Man. The black Pac-Man He might have hijacked evil? the black Pac-Man. I haven't beat Pac-Man World yet, so I don't know. Exactly mm. what it is. Well, it's worth twenty bucks. It's worth. No- <laughs> it's worth nothing. <laughs> <laughs> you got a video game. You can play a video game. That's worth twenty bucks. You and the you and the lady can play some Pac Man. I'll have an evolver. And I look forward to my Thanksgiving present, which I'm sure is for Thanksgiving present. I'm just fucking with you. <laughs> I Thanks, give you those guys. sodas. Yeah, which sodas? These From your fucking the here. diet. Co- no, oh, these is, uh, give me one of those. I'll take one. I'm taking them, chill it. All right. What what flavor fruit is on those? I don't know. Well, it's got a picture on it, right? Choya. Is that a fruit? I don't know. Let me see. It looks like an apple soda. A fucking nectarine. Is it nectarine? Ume, which is often mistaken for plum, is a unique fruit. With natural organic acids, minerals, and vitamins, both beautiful and aromatic, mm-hmm. it's known as a super fruit in Japan. This drink is proudly made with the whole umi fruit. Well, I present it to, <laughs> I I present it to, you. It to you. I present it to you. <laughs> is a umi drink good? Is How it, is it tasted? I gotta try. All right. Do I gotta shake gotta it? Drink it? Do I gotta shake it? Yeah, shake it up. Shake it a little bit. You gotta shake it up big time. Time for Ume Tasty Drink is the most powerful beverage. I thought that was going to spray all over. It kind of had a little it. bit. It's got a little <laughs> bit of foam here. Oh, yeah. How oh, is it? Tastes like semen. It's like a, I don't even know how to describe that. kind of tastes like an apple soda. Like a. Apple. Okay. It's not really that carbonated, though. Oh. Well, thanks. It's refreshing. It's refreshing. It's not like too sweet. Thank you. Ume soda is a, the most tasty soda. Okay, goodbye. Yakuza give much drink a beverage.